Raina, I need to see the video where he launches the kid off his lap and he tried to say that, and he's saying that he moved him off his lap. That's the video hey, I need up. That one uh, Raina, a little bit. You need to move your screen over. Thank you for the Reddit. The that's person, what I was looking uh, for. Tony, Thank the you. person that's in the box, Sam. That's the people we're talking about right now. I'm going to unmute them as soon as they pull these videos up so they can see what's going on. And then you guys can listen to what a uh, drug-infused rage sounds like. People are saying they didn't see it, but, I mean, they can, okay, whatever. But I just want them to answer me on why they think it's okay to, oh, they left. Reddit, the Reddit is now private, Megan. Good job. The Reddit's now private because they knew that's where I was getting the video from. I saw no smack. Of, of Sam Reddit. physically saying, it's not there anymore, Jason. The Reddit's private. They took the Reddit down. We have so, the video on our Discord. Is it? Oh, shit. You're right. Yeah, it's in the yeah go get it. Discord. Pull Please it up. Yeah, yep, get it up there. Everybody that's in here right now that doesn't believe this, stay for a second, and we will show you what we have, and we will show you what has been turned into the Child Protective Services mm -hmm. and also the police department. Mm -hmm. He right. said it's on Discord. What? I sent a quote to the... Ava has it. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Where was it? It was just relax, just relax, and just find it. It's fine. Well, I don't know what channel it was in. I, I mean, was... I feel like it's a problem. Uh, way. we actually sent them food last night, baby girl. So you're not very smart. Yeah, we're we're the group that sent them their uh their food order. By the way, which <laughs> just message me, librarian, and I'll get it over to you. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to do it right this second though. Okay. All right, I just want to say something real quick. High doses of melatonin in kids will fuck them up because your body naturally produces hormones, and the reason why that kid doesn't sleep is because he's not on a fucking sleep schedule, and children at that age thrive on schedules. He's up all night, he sleeps during the day, and he's so fucking out of whack. Two, no amount of anything for a child that age warrants smacking them, spanking them, hey, hitting Jennifer, them, because just, you are just, just a... teaching him... You're just a troll, that it's okay Jennifer. to hit. Go back to their live. Three, and I've been in their live a hundred times and you. blocked a hundred fucking times. You screaming, no, 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 don't do that, isn't going to effectively teach that kid what he is doing wrong. You have to explain to him. If they got pissed off when I said that one day, oh, we told him once. No, he is fucking two or whatever. You have to completely tell him over and over again because he is a baby he does exactly. not get it i don't care Keep if you're on screen. drugs or not you are not effectively parenting that poor fucking child and you are setting him up for failure you are not doing anything to better your life for him and this is what he's going to grow up accustomed to i Guys, don't please care tap the please tap the screen i get him on a slope Look at this is the video where he kicks the kid. He just said he moved the kid off his lap. This is the video where he kicked the damn kid off his lap and freaked out on him. Is it gonna play or is it just play? there? It is. There we go. Look at it right there. Bam! Kicked him. That was not just a shove. That was like full on threw the kid across the bed. And not to mention, he was mad playing a video game and yelling at his whatever his sister or whoever that girl is. Someone you know, it, 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 hold on. Hold on, is stop the hate? Is that the is that the 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 math head boyfriend? Is that is that you? I feel like that could be a backup account. Yeah, I don't I, know. No, say someone said, you know, no, someone said that they're live. They're live streaming our live. Yeah, I think he's in here on another backup though. He said, "You know what's funny? We took parenting classes, and it taught us Honestly, how to parent." I know damn well. Work. I know damn well they don't teach you to kick a child in parenting classes. I know damn I don't well think they studied. To... And not only go. that, like, and not only that, after that kicking incident, who they a dead guy in a hotel room in someone, the box right here. Someone had commented about that video, and Sam goes, "That wasn't even Steven, guys." So he's lying about a whole bunch of stuff. He's twisting his story. So first it wasn't him, and now he's saying this live that it was him. So can they actually get their facts straight and remember the lies that they keep telling? Or what? Because that's what needs to happen. Wait any minute, but they didn't. Stop the hate, which I'm assuming you're the boyfriend. No. CPS, we're uh -huh. all aware. That is a pain in the ass to actually get a child taken away. 
CPS doesn't work like that. They don't take them just like that. They open a case and they evaluate you. And of course, people like you, I experienced this as a fucking child in my own family. People like you will mind their P's and Q's while the fucking investigation's going on. Eventually it gets dropped and you go right back to the abuse. So don't even feed me that shit, dude. Yeah, what am I supposed to get? Uh, sleepy, sleepy, lazy, um, mama llama. I don't know how it, how they have to be involved in this, but if they, but if they were the ones that had that home and they trashed that home to all hell and back, I believe were... that they probably they probably got you know kicked out because they left that house that room a mess and a half. Stop the hate. You were abused from two until nine. Hey, bro. Guess what? I was in the fucking system. I was abused when from the time I was a a, a small kid. Up until I was 14 or 15 and I was put in the system. I do know what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't even try it. Rain, are you? Can you see? They're coming to report y'all. That's fine. Go ahead. Keep tapping the screen, everybody. Get us to 100K. That, that doesn't matter. We know We know plenty, uh, Steven. And we know that you're a lazy um, no good, yeah. bastard. Brain, yeah. Pull up the live so we can. I want to hear it. Let me, let me clear something up. Sam just said we are ruining their reputation on TikTok. Let me make one thing clear: you guys are ruining your own reputation on TikTok. We're not doing anything to your reputation. We're Very calling you guys out. Yeah. Why can't they work? Another good question for all these beggars. It's okay, Haley. It's okay. No, nothing. Stop the hate. Dude, I, again, again, let me repeat this. I grew up in abuse. I was put into the fucking system. I know what abuse looks like. Thank you very much. So Jamie, their mod, just put in their chat, if you're a true supporter, go mass report the live. We're going to have a bunch of mass reporters over here. Here soon. Okay, I'm my last fucking rant because I cannot and my heart hurts for this freaking child. If you took parenting classes, you would fucking know that that kid should probably be in bed by seven o'clock and will sleep six, seven, eight hours and then wake up and need naps still. You are not doing anything to help that child be productive in life. And you know what? I don't know what state y'all are in. I haven't paid that close attention, but there are probably state assisted child care subsidies so you both can go to fucking work. Sarah, There's I've got no plenty excuse. Of I've got plenty of backup, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, and the TV is blasting it off. Sheena, I don't know. My kid slept like shit for the longest time. Eight or nine Even in the morning. What do you mean? That kid woke up at four o'clock this morning. And then they talk about he was up at two and awake until eleven. That's not normal. It's so funny that they that they that they think they can live stream their life and not have people see. It's so, all the info they need. I it's don't. So weird. Me, it's crazy to me because because of my anxiety and my health issues, Allie's the same way. We have really bad sleeping schedules, and we see how that does it to like what it takes how it affects our body i'm going to be 33 next oh, week a violation warning i gotta start over oh my god all right uh follow if you haven't already uh yeah i'm gonna leave it up everybody just be quiet for now uh follow if you haven't already we can get we'll just come back by the way you guys keep reporting i've got backups i'm not too worried and I know how to, I know how to handle this. This is what we do, really? and people don't like it when we expose them. Yeah, That's neither thing. I want to see their page. Uh, okay. All right, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna stay here for about another ten seconds, and I'm gonna come back. California girl will make a video about it on this account. All right, well, I'll be right back. Um, <laughs> put me in the box. 
Yep, CPS was involved with her, and they never did anything. I, for 15 years, the only reason I was put into the system was because I ran away, and they didn't know where my mom was. Oh, gosh, no, take me, uh, take me down, 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 take me down. Trying to. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 you got to take that down. Yep. They're they're still they're still going like oh they're doing it for clout no we're not no we're not what clout do you get out of trying to protect the child exactly oh I didn't mean to let her in I'm sorry you're fine um yeah she if you went in a box you got to tell us why you went up here um if you want to make a comment real quick to it or um whatnot hi hello wait a minute someone just said. They're poor right now. They're more worried about the live and the poor babies in the bathtub not even being watched. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that, that's that's all the more reason for us to not be arguing with their followers. Mama I, of love, I, I or mom of two. I want. Uh, just curious, what what do you want a box for? She just told you that the people in their live are. Saying oh. are are saying that they're, no, they're more that freaked Alexis. out. No, they're more they're more worried about our lives than the kid in the bathtub. Oh no, that was me that said that. Yeah, that oh, was okay. Was well, Mama, too. What are you What are you doing in the box? And don't do that stupid shit. I'm oh, sorry, I'm late. Too late. Dude, I'm, dude, I'm getting too mad. I'm yeah, we're covering mad. we're covering a uh, another person. Uh, mm. a, what account do we go to? Um, I'm gonna comment from two different accounts. You can go to if no, 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 no. What do you no. mean, no, no, no? Don't, don't comment it. So they can't. What they can't do anything about that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I just don't want to be able to block all your accounts. No, I mean, they can block my accounts. I don't give a. I don't care. Uh, just in case, uh, definitely follow this one because I'm trying to get this one up to enough followers. Sam is uh, live, and her boyfriend is in here watching this live, blocking everyone who comments. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I need to. I'm gonna mute and try to calm down. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, Here's I'm what I can tell you. I've been on the dude. phone literally all day long. I spoke with Choice of Tells. They let me know that that is a shelter. I spoke with the resource center there. They said that they refer people to that location, the address that Coach has up, uh, the Quality Inn, which is the shelter address. Um, I have reached out to the mayor and the chief of police. I have not heard back yet. But it sounds like to me that they're getting free, a free stay and using money for whatever else. I've been on the phone literally all day to people in that location. I won't say the name of the town. Um, this sounds really sketchy to me. They're using the money they're begging people for for illicit substances. I'm just going to say that right now. Flat out, that's what they're using those funds for. Neither of them work. They're, I guarantee you they're already on state's care they're staying in a shelter so they're not have to pay, having to pay for a room the money you guys are sending them and i tell i say this about all scammers let's say that the kids weren't involved or any of that 90 percent of these people begging for money on here are uh um able-bodied and could get a job a lot of them are addicts um and the money you're sending to them can be contributing to their downfall do not send people money after last night's ordeal and hearing that they took the food back and everything i'm not sure what happened with that but that also makes me worried that we shouldn't even be sending them resources because they'll just go back and turn them in for the cash i will say do amazon no oh, i don't I, if yeah do amazon only do amazon because if they try to return that it goes back to whoever it goes back on the card for, for yeah. whoever sent it i mean the whole situation with it like i get it people want to help people but I don't think sending cash to anyone that you don't know if they need food or they need something like you can help them find resources or if you want to send it, do it where you're paying for it and they don't have a way that they can return it. Well, that's a good point because um, according to him, the hotel only takes cash. That's very convenient that the only way that we could possibly help them with housing if we sent cash. Just doesn't make sense to me. Also, you call the hotel and it is busy. Nobody answers because it's not open. And that comes straight from Choice Hotel Corporate. You guys can follow that scan busters that's up in the window now for a backup also. 
They use. say there's no resources for them. There is plenty of resources in that area. There's actually something going on tomorrow for resources, but they are not going to go and do it. I can guarantee that. So user something something said if they're telling the truth, oh, why do they block people? I okay, never mind. Yeah, exactly. If they're telling the truth, why do they block people? Why do they mute people? That is a that's why? the MO for all of these beggars and scammers. They block when people. I asked, the when I when I asked about them putting their hands on the child, she dropped. Like, yep. But then then you're admitting it to other people. Yep, and they block you for telling you to check on resources. There, it's the I swear to God, every uh, coach or not coach. Um, I'm sorry, I keep calling you coach. <laughs> all these people, um, uh, chef, chef Carleone, he does it. Um, the what's his face, uh, Campfire Chris does it. Um, Gummy Bear does it. They all do it. They all do the same thing. If you mention resources, they mute you and block you. Dodger fan, it is a hotel room. However, what happens is, and when I talk to uh, Choice Corporate, this is what they said, there is a number of their quality inns that they're utilizing. The city can lease them and use them for ho homeless shelters short term. It is verified that that's, what's, that's what they're doing with this location. So if you look on the website in that area, you will see that they are showing full for all year because they have a contract with the city to utilize that location for a shelter. Then I verified with the shelter that they do not charge anything for those people that are referred to that location. Yep. Um, please tap the screen because we're being yeah, reported again. Screen. Yep, please tap the screen. Because this is not this is not a dox. False full of shit. So I'm guessing that's one of theirs. It's public record, retard. Don't say that word, coach. I'm gonna have to leave my mic muted, and I can't. I can't yep. handle it. The, the hey, supporters are just as bad as. Literally on the phone about this about at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, because I am not getting good sleep at night knowing that child is not safe. Period. No. No, none of us are. And I think that's key. I think that's key is that we're not about get, taking down these people. That child is not safe. That's what this is about. They are utilizing um, that money for stuff that's not good for that child. So this is a great comment because I was thinking this. When they said that they had to take parenting classes, someone just commented, no one just takes parenting classes. It, like they said, it's normally like through the system or it's court mandated that something already happened and CPS was involved and made them take the classes if they're telling the truth. Correct. And they did say that they had an open CPS case. I think it was Correct. last night on their live. Correct. Okay, for everybody asking the other account, it, they're not live on it. I don't know what li what account they're live on right now, but it's uh, Lil Stitch Lover, Lil underscore Stitch underscore Lover, like L I L. And you also see, you don't see us going over there and mass reporting their stuff, right? You don't you don't see us going over there and mass reporting their stuff. We have we have no reason to. We're only here to spread awareness about a dangerous situation involving a child. Well, yes. I've, I've been discovered. <laughs> yeah, oh, shocking. You know what? Please, please let them know that I'm the one who sent the police over and not Amy. They're blaming her. Yeah, it, it was coach. And uh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so and, also, uh -huh. um, I do want to say this whole, this group, a lot of us donated to that, uh, what was it Safeway pickup order that they got so no we're not in this for fame or anything we are genuinely looking out for the care of that child someone just posted the name that they're on yep it's really sad that I don't really care to go watch their really lives fun. anymore California I just want girl to get get the stuff out there to them that that um that this is what they're doing. California girl, the the one that's in the box, Scam Busters. I'm gonna mute my mic and go. I'm gonna talk from that one. You need to add that one in case we get nannered on this one. I'm over here trying to follow all Dennis's accounts. 
<laughs> Good luck. Um, Tony, I agree 100%. Like, I don't care anything on what they're doing, anything like that. Um, but the fact they're putting hands on a child, that is it for me. This I account. Don't. Oh, Look on the screen, yourself, Dodger fan. Look on the screen. Care. I don't care if they're Look doing on the screen, smart guy. Math okay, I shouldn't be like echoing now. I care if they're putting hands on a child. Period. Yeah, I don't really care what you do with your own life or how you do that, but it's the child safety. Just don't put your hands on a child. It's really easy. Coach, you're getting you're getting violated. Because that girl Sleepy is saying that he's doxing them. There goes Coach. Why doesn't Sleazy come in the box? I mean, Sleepy. Someone just asked, she's been asking this Michaela B. Before we had to end the live, she also asked, she's been asking to come in the box. So I don't know. Yeah, I'll let her in for a second. I don't know who she is. I don't. Guys, follow the scam buster, the big window. Follow that account in case we get taken down. Who? Who? Who's on CA's account, Allie? Uh, someone who's a part of this. Hi. I know them, though, right? Yeah, uh, no. Oh. They're actually on my account. This is the account me and CA had. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a few questions. That's why I was asking to come in the box. <laughs> You're good. So yeah. what is happening? Because I have followed Sam for a long time. I just don't pay attention, I guess. Um, but I'm very confused. Um, well, everybody's dropping like flies. What the heck? Give me a second. I swiped out. That was my fault. By accident. Okay. Um... We are, they have been putting their hands on their youngest child for a long time. There's multiple videos all over Reddit, all over everywhere. Um, and I even witnessed it a few nights ago. And many of us had problems with that. And that's why we're all here. Has somebody, like, reported them to the police or DCFS, or is this all just, like, on TikTok? Because now I'm confused. Yes, they do have an open CPS case, and he said that last night. So they have been visited by CPS? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm sure, like, it's, I, I mean, I'm just joining this live just now, but, like, making sure that we're You're getting all your facts straight. Yeah, well, and we're not just like on TikTok talking about it that there's exactly. been oh, things no. done. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. This this group and Michaela, I invite you to actually follow us. We're exposing another person on here named Robert Siebers uh, that we found out was actually trafficking a 13 year old little girl, and we have a huge case going on with that. Uh, TBI, which is Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, is involved. Um, CPS is involved and the local law enforcement, which you'll uh, you'll learn more about it if you hear us talk about that situation. Um, they're all involved. Heartbreaking, heartbreaking thing. Okay, yeah, good to know. I'm I already followed everybody here, so um, I will just keep my eye out and do what I can. I've never supported Sam. I've never given them money or anything, so. <laughs> I suggest but... not giving anyone money on this app. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Wait a minute. Robert was in their lives. Robert is uh, this Robert is Reina's ex boyfriend. No. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that guy. No. Ro someone commented. Robert. Kayla commented. Robert was in their live. Oh wait. Ro yeah, the Robert. Kayla. Of course he was because Robert is in uh, our Discord. He's somebody in the Discord. I don't care if he is. Um, but he's somebody in the Discord, so anytime he sees us talking about somebody else, he goes into their live. Yeah. And he begs for money to try to get a ticket to California to come see me. Robert, if you're watching, please do. Get somebody to buy yeah. you a ticket out here. She said he's on their side right now, liking the live. Yeah, of course. And um, Sarah said that he's saying his oh. brother is in cybersecurity and he's going to press charges. Hold on. Okay. Let me um, get something with this, Sleepy. Um, Mama Llama... 
is not for them to blame for that. They were probably there for a few months and they got asked in to leave and they left that whole entire room a mess. You got found out, librarian. Can name mo- uh can somebody please message Savage Cassie? Uh I'm not a mod. I um can't. I'll follow her and she can follow me back. Is Coach, are you still in here? Did you get bananaed? No. He did. Do you got another backup? By the way, guys, if you haven't followed the big box, that's the, that's going to be the backup in case this gets taken down. That'll be where you go. So follow the one in the big box, the uh, Scambusters 2.0. Um, also, I'm going to go, actually, if you can follow that real quick, I'll give it about two more minutes in the box, and then I'm going to comment from another one. I am currently building up all my backups because when we talk about stuff like this, people desperately try to get us taken down. Desperately. What's up, Sheena? No we blocked Sam. Uh, no, we didn't. Sam is not blocked. We don't block people here. Uh. Wait. I seen him put his hand on the. The police said that they couldn't do anything for him putting his hands on that child. That's crazy. Come on. Yeah, sorry, if you haven't followed that account, follow Wait a that minute. Message. Pooh Bear just said, they said the woman that just left the box is one of their moderators. So the only person the only person that just left was that Michaela. I don't care if they're a moderator. I don't I don't care. I think somebody sometimes people are blinded by just wanting to help a child and maybe talking to us helped her understand what's going on. Yeah. Need her money one way or she what she did say she's been watching them for a while and maybe she just wasn't paying attention. Uh, because if they need money one way or another, that doesn't happen. I will say, and again, I want more information on people that have been following these people longer. Uh, oh, I, I haven't had a chance to. I need to, damn it, I'm live again. I don't have that folder. I've got a folder I've got to look into um, that somebody had sent me. Uh, they, they've been following this case for a while now. Oh, this stuff goes back years. I've looked at the, I've looked at that drive, and it goes back years. We're talking about little underscore stitch, little underscore lover, Sam. I will look at the folder. I promise. <laughs> I told her. I told him to look at the folder. He did, he's not very that. good at opening things. Allie I've keeps got so, much, so much stuff coming into me that it's hard Allie to keep up with telling it. me, um, join the Discord and this and that. I'm like, listen, I don't know how to work Reddit. I don't know how to work Discord. So just screenshot it and text it to me because I don't know how to work any of that. Uh, you guys that are in the chat right now, send me a message if you want to join the Discord. Um, if you have proof against them, you could post it in there. Um, I don't care who joins it. It's a wide open Discord. Like I said, Robert, the guy we're exposing, I do believe is in there. Doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, send me or uh, Reina or Ali a message and we can send you a link to the Discord. You're going to go, if this account gets bananaed, the one that's in the big window, follow that account. He's on there. 
we don't have proof. All we're doing is talk, 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 talking. We're showing the proof, dude. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this one. Well, I guess people are saying, like, I don't know. People, some people are just blinded. Or, I don't know, don't have any kind of moral compass. I have no idea. Hi, Yeller. Congratulations, Sarah. Congrats, Sarah, on your job. Now it's time for that. I think the and it didn't go through. God forsaken fucking. <laughs> I'm just going to say hi from the other account. Please add that account. The Scam Busters 3.0. I'm trying to build that as a backup. I'll say hello. What'd you say, Ellie, or was that Alexa? Literally it's okay. Four, literally four accounts I have. I've got four or five as backups. Oh my god. But it's, yeah, it's because of what I do. He's they on, take me down. He's on live. Yelling out all your accounts. Oh <laughs> Go ahead. Keep yelling. Scambusters. Yeah, it's Scambusters, dickhead. Scambusters, call me out, please. Let people add it. <laughs> Scambusters 3.0, by the way. Add it. I'm trying to add it as a backup. Everybody. <laughs> They're trying to get us all reported. That's fine. I mean... If I ready. lose my account, it's fine. At this point. I mean, I just... Allie. I'll pay fifteen dollars for you Wait, to go live again. Said, Boo Bear says, "Yeah, exactly." Woo! Yeah, take it down. We can we, trust me. I can. I can have a new account in like four hours to where I've got um, enough to go live. So. Someone, Pooh Bear said, "Sam, there's Sam." What do you mean in here? Probably. Yeah, Sam's in here. Um, he keeps saying he said that we wouldn't be getting mass reported if we were telling the truth. Nah, you just have people really well trained under your lies. That that's yeah, why. Dude. I'm not. I'm not over there reporting you guys because I have nothing to hide. I'm not. I'm not asking people to go over there and report yours because I have no reason to. You have something to hide, dude. Everybody that was in your live last night saw how fucking nervous you were when cops showed up. You had something to hide. You did have something to hide, and you just about shit your damn pants when the cops went. So I don't want to hear that shit. I don't know. It seemed pretty like sketch to me when the first thing you say when the cops knock on the door is, "Oh, we don't have to let them in. They don't have a warrant." Like who says that? <laughs> Please follow he, Pain Without. That's Coach. He said apparently no one's supposed to like the cops. Who's supposed to like the? Co I do. I do. Okay, so if someone's robbing your house, who does he call? Does he not call the police? <laughs> who does he call? Busters. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He, he doesn't call the police. He defends his own house himself. Right, okay. Well, I mean... <laughs> okay. Librarian, I was thinking the same thing. He knows how to he knows how to use a pew pew, he says. He did that. Oh, I do too. Come on. So do I. I don't need one. I, I have a phone. I can get him swapped in five minutes. I just don't understand. Like, they're sitting there watching a live telling people to mass report. No one's doing that. No one's saying, Sam, don't come up. And Hold on, hold on, hold on, Alex. Hold on, Alex. Hi, Mama Llama. Um, I completely understand. I'm sorry Everything you are getting, I am sorry that you are getting blown up, um, but I completely understand. Mom, are you sending them money? 
I mean, I hope you're to each his own. If you want to send them your money, that whatever. But I highly suggest people don't uh, contribute to their habit. Saying that she has sent money for the hotel room, I. They just keep dropping. And why have you been sending them money? We didn't send them money. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying us. <laughs> That's by deception. Uh, we repeat, don't repair. We don't repair. Um, that's not the only issue here. Um, all their behaviors are a telltale sign of addicts. That's not the only issue here. They're also uh, scamming people theft by deception. They're in a shelter right now. They are in a effing shelter. They're not paying anything for it and they're telling people they need, what was it? They said they need five something. They need 500 and something dollars. 530 or 80. Yeah, something like that. Th that's theft by deception. By the way, if they, if they want to put their piss where my money is, I'll pay for drug tests. I will give them $2,000 if they pass. Oh, yeah. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see him take. I want to see him take a, a piss test and let's see. They're, 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 that'll be proof. <laughs> if, if they're really not on drugs, they should have no problem looking at $4,000. Okay. $4, and taking a drug test. Not a piss Hold test. Hold on. Not a blood test. So, Stephanie. The boy loves his parents. You can see it in their lives. Just because that boy loves his parents, oh. they, he doesn't know anything without them. I, I have okay. I have stated this because we talked about the little girl involved in the Robert situation again. I did not have a great childhood. I will not talk about my childhood, but I'm just going to say I didn't. I didn't have a great childhood. I still loved my parents because I thought that was normal. That's the situation I grew up in. I didn't know anything else that was normal to me. So obviously I get it. And I'm glad you didn't grow up in an abusive home. I'm glad you didn't have to experience that, but that's how it works. I still to this day love my parents, but I also am aware of what they did. So. Exactly. Bougie girl. You literally just said if you experienced that as a kid, you wouldn't be bashing people. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, I call oh. out child abuse, bud, because I, because I experienced it. <laughs> you know, I didn't experience it, but the past couple of days, I've been talking to an awful lot of people who have. I don't think so. Uh, is that a lion or tigers? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think he got locked up yet. Still a uh, ongoing investigation. Don't tap from inside the box canceled. <laughs> you get it, uh, you get it, shadow bananaed. Thank you for trying to like, though. If you guys can, by the way, like like the screen, because they're actively, actively trying to get us taken down. Oh, it looks like Coach has got his appeal done. Oh, no, he didn't. Damn. If you went in a box, you got to tell us why you went up here. Are they in? Are they still live? Oh, yeah, I guarantee they are. I know. Um. Oh, you got some info? Okay, I'll let you up here for a second. If you act a fool, I gotta put you down, though. Uh, go ahead and request again. Oh, wait, you're already there. Okay. Hello. Hey, Hi. Up? So you can look the address up online and you can ask if it's used for homeless. Homeless shelter, yeah, you're, you got, I guess you got your text or something. I, I looked up the address that you pulled up earlier, and uh, you could just look the address up along with asking if it's used for homeless shelters, and it tells you everything you need to know right there. Yep, mm -hmm. it's, it is a homeless shelter. So that's theft by deception. Yeah, and then, the crime. I one, and I watched one video where um, they were live, and... He was playing his video game or whatever, and the kid grabbed the controller, and he ripped the controller out of the kid's hand and said, and kept telling him to stop. 
Can you yeah, go? There's, there's multiple videos Do actually that I like the kick, the kicking video. You can you can actually see like the other video. I've said this over again, over and over again to my group. Um, the one where you hear him smack or whatever. We can't see that, so it's not. You can't take that to CPS and go, look, this happened. Like it's we all, we all obviously know what happened, but it doesn't. He could fight that and say, well, no, I, I you know I slapped my leg or something. He, that's something you can fight. The other video where it shows him actually kicking the kid off of him, that is proof. Yep, that, that's the one I'm talking about right there. Yeah, I just wanted to inform everybody that it is online too. Yep, oh, I mean all this stuff. Apparently, I've got to look through a folder of evidence um, that I haven't touched on yet. And it's because I'm sorry again. It's because... I get overloaded with a bunch of things. You should see the Discord. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Haley, I, uh, I'm not gonna. Like I said, I won't talk about. Um, uh, where's the home? Yes, we have. Uh, yep. Lots of hotels and. Yep. Hey, Reina, will you send me his name and where he's at and all that? Yeah, I can do that. Do it on Messenger. Do they want to come back in the... I, I know they're watching us. You come back over here. Like I said, don't talk over people. I'll be respectful. Don't talk over people. Let people talk and respond. Be an adult. Don't yell over people. Actually talk. And I'll let you up in a box. And you can have a conversation with us. Uh, send me her name too. I was muted. I was just saying my wife said my hair looks very 70s. I think I agree. Anyway. They were not blocked. They're not blocked. They are not blocked. In fact, can one of my moderators go through the block list and make sure uh, um, they're not blocked? Of course they blocked it. But I've never said anything. I know. I I don't. Maybe I have. I might have. You have. From from her account. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. They blocked all my other ones. I had to say something. Now I can't sneak. Yeah, you can. I'll show. You. Do you know how to make a throwaway account? Yeah, I'm not dumb. Well, then do it. No, there's nothing. They're not blocked. Well, he's back in here. Yeah, I know. You know his name Do Ray Me. <laughs> Dude, you're not blocked. You guys can come in here now. Like I said, you can have a conversation. I will be uh, kosher. I will not yell it. I won't. Well, I might yell, but I'll let you talk. Just don't yell over other people. Since he's in here, repeat the offer. I will pay. To, I will pay for a blood test at your nearest. You know, whatever for drugs for you and your wife. If you both pass, I will give you each two thousand dollars cash. That's not a joke. I'll, I'll, I'll even, I will donate to that fund. Man, I'm about to go and get a blood test done. Shit.
Where is Coach still in here? Because if Coach is still in here, I sent him a message on Discord. I need him to read real quick. And, you know, just to prove that the money is there for it, I, I, I have so much disposable income. Oh, no, 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 no. I would want a hair follicle. If we're going to pay that much, I want a hair follicle or a blood test done. I'm nothing, you know. So I'll pay. Okay. Um, what's in the Louis Vuitton? That's the real question. <laughs> Perfume. Yeah. Cologne. Hmm. These are good. This is good stuff. This one good. was four hundred fifty, and this one was four hundred. Wow. That's much. I like. Oh, also, hold on. Uh, let me throw this in. I will also pay for them to take a polygraph test. That'd be a good too. That'd be a good one too. Yeah. They really need money, and they're begging. I'm offering more than enough money for them to get a deposit and rent for a couple months on a place. <laughs> Sam is, <laughs> no, uh, Steve is the tough guy. Steve. <laughs> Uh, told, they're not blocked. They can come in. They can. They can go ahead and come in the box, and they can talk. Trina, I want to. Um, so, people think they can lie on a lie detector test? Not they anymore. Can, they can't. Not anymore. A lie detector test will show deception. So, and a lie detector it, yep. investigator it, will know that. It, it, it used to. So I looked this up because I offered another person that I'm exposing on here to take a lie detector test. Uh, polygraph tests nowadays are like 98 percent accurate. Back in the day, they, that's what, they're still inadmissible in court, but they are 98% accurate nowadays. So, by all means. <laughs> and besides that, there's, why would they, I, to the other person that I told to take one, he flat out refused to do it too. Um, there's no reason that you would refuse to do it if you know you're not guilty. Like, if you know you're not lying anything about anything, why would you be worried about it? Okay, Sleepy, she came in here and said she's not involved in this, so... they gonna say they don't hold up in court. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, yep, yep. Hey, how did you get your Discord to look like that? Did you pay for $2.99. What did I do? What did I get it to look like? Fire? Yeah, I got it. So I paid two ninety nine for Nitro. Girl... What started all this? We expose child predators and uh, child abusers and scammers and beggars. To all, wait, well, I will say also to all people that have been their little followers and everything coming over here saying we're doing this for clout and attention. I do advise you to follow us and listen when we're talking about the Robert situation. We do not, we're not looking for clout at all. I've said this over and over again. In fact, I get pissed off at people that come in the box looking for clout for this, for these situations. Don't try to benefit off of this stuff. Oh, look, Sam's here. All right, listen, here's the rules, dude. Do not talk over anyone. We will have a civilized conversation. Talk over it. Yeah. 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 Uh, you're gonna have to turn uh, your yeah. or you're, you're what you're streaming, what you're, whatever you're streaming us on. You're gonna have to turn that down. It's a TV. Hang on. We are not drug users. Okay. Well, I can. Pro huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. We are not drug users. My mom died from meth a long time ago. That's why it hurt. Okay, well, somebody just offered to pay for you to take a drug test. Okay, then let's do it. Let's get it over with. No, stop. Where's your, where's your, is he up here? My man is outside. No, 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 not him. I'm talking about, um, Raina. Oh, okay. That's fine. It, that's the thing with a, a, a drug test. We do show, smoke weed. It'll but, show THC yeah. or show whatever. You know what no. We do smoke weed, though. Yeah, but weed is legalized in this state. 
Yeah, it's illegal must in most states. I'm not. I'm, we're not talking about. That's not what we're talking about. But I will also say, outside of that, we've also witnessed child abuse. So that's another thing. So you're saying that, like the video where your boyfriend clearly kicked that kid off his lap. You're saying that's not child abuse, and somebody he didn't that, kick him hold on, hold off on, of his hold lap. On, he bit hold the. On. Inner... You're talking over me. I'm still talking. You, I, we all watched I'm him. I'm sorry. Kick him continue. Off. We all we all watched him kick him off his lap. No. Yeah. Uh, listen, no. I'm still talking. You're talking yeah. over me. Today. I heard I'm other people. In now. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, I'm gonna mute yeah. you for while I talk about this. Um, I had other people up here say that you guys tried to say that wasn't even him that kicked him off his lap. So that's a lie right there. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute you. Please don't talk over me. I gotta wait 53 seconds before I can unmute you. While the 53 is going on, I'd like to ask her if you're able to buy what you're talking about that you smoke, then why are you wanting, but you're begging for money? That's a good question. Can I unmute them yet? 25 more seconds. Um, Where's Katie at? Can somebody message Katie? She's the calmer voice. I would like her to talk to these people because I'm trying to be calm, but you guys know me. Nine seconds. Okay, now you got to, uh, you can turn your mic back on. Am I unmuted? Okay, yeah. um, hang on. Now, what was y'all's questions? Well, the first one, I said that uh, we clearly seen your boyfriend or husband or whatever he is kick the child off his lap, and you guys had said that uh, nope. if it wasn't even him. Okay, I heard that. I heard that part. And mm -hmm. no, I never said it wasn't him. Mm -hmm. Never once did that came out of my mouth. So who did who did say that uh, they said somebody said they saw a video the live of you where you said it wasn't uh, Chris or what, whatever his name is. His name is Steven. Steven. I saw it. It was on Reddit and they watched the video together. He came over her shoulder and he said, that's not even me. That was that that was to a completely different thing going on at the same time. I'm just being honest because there was something else going on her phone, too. Just because we were watching the video doesn't mean I was talking about that video. That doesn't make any sense. But Amy's it does listening. make sense because okay, so you don't know what else was going on on her phone at that point in listen, time. Now, do you? Listen, again, it doesn't make sense. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But Amy also asked a valid question. If you guys have money to buy THC, why are you guys begging for money? Hold on. Let me answer that one. We don't buy the THC or the vapes. We have people that back in the day before we ever had our son, when I was working at Jack in the Box night, nightly and paying for the motel room we were in for three and a half years, we would sh share with people who didn't have any. So those people are now finally paying us back on the weed and the vapes. We don't pay for that stuff. We get it from people that we've helped out before. So, well, my question to that would be, if these people are paying you back for this stuff, doesn't food for your child take precedence over that? So I would be asking, instead of getting that substance, I would be asking for actual meat. Because, because when they've given it to us, we have food for him. I, I know. Just because it's the end of the month and we don't have food stamps or anything doesn't mean we don't supply for our child no, throughout the rest of the month. So, um, tell me a little bit about what's happening this evening. If you guys can update her, I got to mute my phone for a second. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Sam. How are you? Just trying to settle things out. That's all. Allie, Raina. Alexis, if you guys can kind of inform Katie of what's going on, uh, cancel. Yes, we have to. No one got blocked out of this live. 
We don't care about your supporters or other addicts or whatever. Actually, that's not true, Alexis. Because uh -huh. people have came into my life and told told us that they've been blocking. Yep. So I'm sorry, no that's not true. Blocked. Well, no one's blocked. Yeah, no one's blocked. Who is getting blocked? Is any of my moderators blocking anyone that's coming in here currently? Because I am the host of this live, and I haven't told anybody. Can I say I'm something, please? No, don't talk over me. I'm trying to talk right now. But yeah. I, I'm showing okay, how you guys are lying about blocking wait, 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 people, because three or four different people... Okay, has anyone, like I said, I'm asking, Coach, and uh, Coach, I need you in the comments because I don't know if you have, and I've asked you nicely, I'll do it again, I've asked you nicely, do not talk over anyone. Oh, yeah. Hackworth, 716, said I got blocked earlier for some reason. They're lying, they're not getting blocked. If I was I gotta keep muting you, don't talk over anybody, I'm trying to get answers right now. Have any of my moderators been blocking anyone? No, we don't block anyone. The only time that we would block someone is if they were obviously threatening yeah or, i'll do that um yeah but we don't we don't block people for coming one of the things that we do is we want to make sure that everybody is honest and as transparent as possible and for that to be able to happen if we block people then we can't be so we we don't block people unless they're threatening but that's the only time that we would block people I'm about, hold on, I'm about to put up a, a screenshot of the blocked people that are blocked from this live right now. Uh, let me see. And by the way, the people I'm about to put up, these are the people that are trafficking the 13-year-old little girl, so. Come on. Yep, there we go. You're really so, asking for money while in the middle of an argument about you not begging for money. Just saying. Who was blocked? Mm -hmm. He asked if he, he was close to our goal, so shut the fuck up. Who was blocked? Hey, look, we're all being civil here, so I, why why are you guys getting defensive? Are you saying? I, mean, I, was, I was answering. Sam, I know that I was one of the people that was blocked on your page when I was trying to ask about if I could help with um, the hotel, and your husband said, uh, Katie, you were in here last time somebody asked, and we already told you, so you're getting blocked, and then you guys blocked me. So I was even trying to, like, help you guys, but got blocked. Did anyone mute this user or the sleepy Lizzy? You can be honest, if you did, well, I will tell you, don't, don't bother me. I don't mute anybody. I don't block anybody. The only time I do is if they become threatening. Bullshit. I just showed you that nobody got blocked. Bullshit. Hey Sam, he just pulled up the um he just pulled up the list of blocked people. Do you want him to pull it up again so you can just Two seconds to unblock somebody? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't don't call me a liar because I that's something I don't do. So, <laughs> I, it took me two seconds to pull two up that time, screenshot. I screenshotted the I screenshotted the thing and pulled it up like that. So don't even don't even don't even try to say that I it took me two seconds to unblock everyone because if you're saying I'm mass re, I'm mass blocking everyone that comes. No, I didn't. Hey, Nobody Sam, did. Can I ask you a question? If Sam, you're saying that um someone said you guys husband, need some money. Your you said husband, to get help. <laughs> isn't begging right now and isn't saying the mass report but he's giving out the host's name to go block so i'm answering questions from the people in my live quite literally if you look at the live they're asking I'm me your live too i'm, I'm you watching that. your live too and reading the comments obviously you're not because people are asking us if we made our goal do you still need some help Who's the people that are hating on you? I I'm answering questions it. from people in my live. JJ said hi. Oh, and I also, I did call, I, hear, I heard you guys call me a drug addict. Um, what makes you think that I'm on something? You said that. What? You didn't say that? Well, I said I used to be a drug addict. No, 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 no. You, guys, you guys said I was a drug addict. You said that. No, we, no, we didn't. See, more misinformation spread in lives. Oh like I said, God. you guys just lied. Hold on. 
in the comments who all was in here and heard them say they are probably they're saying we're drug addicts they're probably on drugs who all was in here and seen that that or wasn't one of us wasn't us i've only been on two accounts in there neither <laughs> one of them ever said that <laughs> alexis was running your live and i heard it clear as day and i said sorry and other people in here said sorry no, everybody that's in here are blue collar and white collar workers. We have no reason to. We're not begging for money on this app. Uh, we're, we're not either. We're asking for help. There's a oh, difference. We're talking about misinformation. <laughs> but may I ask a question? You guys are literally lying about me and my husband. Sam, may I ask you a question? Nope. Nope. I'm done. You're done? Yeah, we're, done. We're, having, we're actually having a conversation here and you're done. They ended yeah, their live because they realized they were getting called out because I was able to see the live. And that's not what the comments were saying. So he was telling them the report and all this and that. And still begging for money in the middle of an argument about how he doesn't beg for money. They, they were doing it the whole time. By the way, if you guys can, tap the screen. Please be tapping the screen. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot I'm part of the agency. I can get uh, 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 Reina. How do I get the agency to um, take care of that? Are you guys all blocked? Are you guys all blocked over there? I don't know. Oh yeah, people in the comments. Even oh well, they'll they'll lie for him anyway. I want to know who's saying that uh, they got blocked in my live because no, they didn't. Oh, Nobody. everybody sleepy is saying. We don't. What's interesting about that is that if we were to if we were to are you talking about? Like their their friends or their followers blocked or them directly. Both. Yeah, we don't block anybody, and the reason that we don't block anybody, you... we never block the people we're talking about because we want them to come talk to us. If you were muted, and hold on, don't talk over anybody now that I let you in the box. Um, if you were muted, I'm sorry for that. It could have been one of my moderators that muted you. You might have said something that was out of line, and you could have got muted. But I will tell you, for sure, nobody has been blocked. Oh, Sam. Um, we don't, the reason that we don't block people is because if there's, like I was talking about transparency a little bit ago, if we block people, that takes away from us being able to be transparent and have conversations. And we wouldn't block you guys because we would want to be able to have a conversation with you and so that would defeat the purpose sorry if it's loud here for a second i gotta feed my cats and sometimes the food is loud in the bowl um so can you tell me a little bit about what's happening from your side sam what that we're homeless and we're trying to not okay. have our son out on the streets oh okay I understand. I'm sorry you guys are going through that. Um, I'm sure I'm sure the group has talked to you about resources and stuff for you guys. Do you have access to resources or need some help? Resources, hon. Section 8. Um, but I also want to say somebody in the comments here, and we've already looked this up. Where you're at right now is a homeless shelter, and you're saying you need 500 and something dollars to stay there. So I do want to, I, I do want to point that out. Okay, so... The mission moved up here about like years ago, three, three years ago, and um, we moved over here when we were the still quality, everything. The hotel is still the hotel, but the mission is in the back. So, so there are like three different sections to this hotel. The back side is completely off because of the fact that that's where the mission is. We are in the front half of the hotel where you have to still pay for the room. Can somebody please call? Uh, I'm sure because we, we we tried calling yesterday, nobody's in the office. Can we verify what they're saying? Because see, that's what we do. We do look into things and see. So can can you guys, Ali and Reina, can you guys look into that and see they're in room? The you guys know what room they're in. Live. Go look at the live guys. Still watching my live because I can show you photographic video evidence of it right now. I'm not watching your live. I'm here talking to you guys. Well, do you have one, one of the people in there is watching the live though? She said she was. I am. Yeah. And I just saw you pin your cash app and I find that hysterical. <laughs> you're not. Oh, wait. You guys also said you're not begging for money. So you don't. You say, Hold on. I'm talking. You guys say you're not begging for money. And you keep every. I've seen you guys over and over again. 
You pin that cash app up. You pin it up. Hold on, I'm still talking. People are you asking Hold on, I'm still talking. You guys pin that cash app up, and you don't consider that begging. You pinning the cash up in there, that you you're, you you say that's not begging. In the middle of your baby dad, I don't know if it's your husband, whatever, I don't know. In the middle of your baby dad screaming over his life into our life, he's still pinning the cash app. Because it's giving him more power seeing the drama, so that means more money could come in. They're asking. They're literally sitting there asking for it. Am I seeing like a different live? Like, because I'm not seeing that. Are you on the little yeah, mama some... twenty five or the little not little yeah little, well, little Stitch lover. lover? That's the one I'm currently well, live on. Right yeah, yeah. Can somebody before... call the call the hotel where we're on the live? We have we have called them before, yeah, and it's and nobody picks up. I'm so what you say the hotel it'll... to verify. No one's at the office. Yeah, there you go. So obviously, no. so, like I said, with another person I'm exposing on here, everything's too convenient to where we can't verify things. So, hey, Sam. Um, so, so I just verified it with photographic evidence of the whole area around us, the fenced off what areas. Is that, and what does that verify? That the mission's back there and we have to pay for this here. Based on your word, there is no evidence. Of Based that. on the photographic evidence I just showed you. When you pull that up, when you pull that, so with that, that address up on Google, it shows that it is a homeless shelter. It doesn't say what you're saying, that the front half is... Uh, I'm not going to have you talking over me. I'm talking. Um, it shows that it's a homeless shelter. It doesn't show that it is a uh, half of its homeless shelter, half of its hotel. So, no, that's based off your word, not after, uh, off of actual evidence. Can we put a pause on on the shelter for a second. I just I just wanted to ask some questions. Let's just put a pause. Dennis, take a break for a second. And we'll just, we'll take a pause on the shelter part. Okay, so um, I, bef I will say to Alexis, I did see, I will say that I did see people in their live asking for their cash app, but I've, all, and I was under this account when I saw that, but then they blocked me under this account. So I can't tell you what's happened in the last couple of days. I, I don't know. No, um, I, know. I don't remember hold on, hold on. why you were blocked. Hold on, hold on Alexis. Uh, Katie, one second. I want to say one thing because I just seen it in the comments. Um, I do. If you guys are not paying for it, I, uh, and I know what you're going to say to this because apparently you said it in another live. Um, but where's the receipt? Because you can get a receipt for the hotel. So show that. Show that as proof. Show the receipt from where you guys paid for the hotel room. Okay. I will go hey, and Sam. take a paper I signed that has everything on it when I pay the other rest of it. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Um, so, okay, I know that they want to focus on the hotel, so I'll just ask you a couple questions about that. Go ahead. So before, before, and I'm talking about before I was blocked, because I haven't seen anything in the last couple of days. I only saw you guys the first day you were in the hotel, and then I was asking if I could help you by paying, and that's when I got blocked. So, because I, I was going to help you guys with the hotel, but I got blocked. So when I don't know why uh, you got blocked, because first... it wasn't me. I didn't block you. It might have been another mod. I don't I block think, people well, that offer help. Katie, I want to well, say something I, to that for what a second. I said was... So I, I just want to say, because you said we keep bringing up the hotel thing, we're bringing up that because it is a huge issue. Because if they're staying in a shelter and not paying for the hotel, they're telling people they need 500 and something dollars to extend their stay in the hotel. That is... So, theft by theft. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I ask a question real quick? Just, just, just real quick. If we weren't paying for the hotel, we were here last week. If we weren't paying for the hotel, why would we have to leave, go to her grandmother's we're house, and right then now. come back when we had the money? Because they, okay. Because we're in the exact it? same room we were in too last week. You hang on, hang on, hang because on, guys. Something? User, we've been through all the resources that we can. Hold on. Let's back up. Hold on. Hold on. I know look, we're going to go ignore the comments right now because sometimes what happens is and if you're reading the comments at the same time, it distracts from the conversation and then we bounce yes. around. 
So let's let's just talk. You and I just talk. You you and me and Steven just talk real quick. Okay. So I so I know sometimes what they do for hotels, and I'm not saying this is your situation, but I know some for sometimes for hotels they only stay let you stay for a certain period of time, um, because and then you have to go somewhere because they can't consider it a residence after it would be considered a residence after a period of time. So um, and typically, so let me back up. For the for the hotel on the day that I saw you guys, um, actually I saw you the evening that you guys were still at um, Grandma's house, and yes. um, then you guys were in the hotel, and then at Gra the last day at Grandma's house, and then the first day at the hotel, um, you guys said you were going to be there for three days and then go back to the shelter. Was no you, no 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 that? that that's not what I said. I said we were going to be here for a week. And then we would have three days to go to the shelter, and then she'd get paid, and we'd be back here for another week. That okay. is word for word what I had said in that live. Okay. And then um, and then my apologies and misunderstanding. It's, it's okay. A lot of people Thank misunderstood in that live. I know. I saw all the comments in that live. They were misunderstanding. And that's why... And that's why I'm going to talk to you respectfully, and I'm not going to accuse you of anything. That's why I'm, I'm being just... respectful now, too, because you are talking respectfully. It. I appreciate it. So you will never have a conversation with me. You will never hear gross things from me. I will always be talking to you like this. I try not to, but sometimes I get a little <laughs> worked up and my emotions get the better of me. And we are I'm sorry saying... for the host, by the way. You don't got to yell over the phone, baby. They we... can hear you just fine. We That's okay. so... apologize so much for the host. I'm sorry. I just get uppity when people call me a meth addict because I have been 10 and a half years clean since 2013. I almost died on that shit. I started doing it after my mom died for five years straight and almost killed myself on it and then got clean because of that. So it really hurts for people to say I'm a drug addict when I've worked on my sobriety so goddamn hard for 10 and a half years and still work on it every damn day in my life. If you did, I congratulate you on that. I do. I really do. And I, I, I do. have been like I, dead ass serious. I've been clean for 10 and a half years. My wife and my son are the other reason why I still stay clean to this day. My so teeth. let me ask you, can I say something? I didn't brush my teeth much as a kid. I didn't take care of my teeth. I got in fights. I rode skateboards, bikes. I fucked up my mouth before I was 19 years old, and I it's need a lot a of work on it. Party voice. No, it's my he's calm ass gonna, voice, so I don't get guys, pissed off and start yelling at you people. Guys, he's, not not pity, pity he's not pity partying right now. Trying he's to keep my voice calm. He's just giving you some history. Like, literally, that's so what happened to my teeth. Katie. I didn't take care of my teeth as a kid, and my mom warned me. That if I didn't brush my teeth regularly, I'd have problems in my age. I just didn't listen to her. So, um, and so what I and my to two ask front was, teeth, my two front teeth are because I got in a fight with a dude and he knocked out my front teeth and I broke his fuck. Oh, excuse my language. I broke his nose. So like, yeah, I got in a fight so, with a dude and got my front teeth knocked out. That's why I don't have my front teeth. So what happens with, okay. So you guys said that you, I personally have never heard of a hotel that will let you pay at the end of your stay. So AJ, happens, AJ, AJ, the hotel manager really wants to help us. And he really, he wants to help us. And that's why he let us do this. Cause I called him. I have AJ's personal number because we came down here because we've been, we've been trying to get in here forever because it is the cheaper hotel here. And we like this, okay. you know, it's a good area. It's really private here. And we've been trying to get in here forever and calling the hotel and stuff. And we finally got up here and finally talked to the manager and got his number. So that's how I'm able to get the place here and talk to him. I told him yesterday we had 360. We needed 170 more. He said, I will give you the week for the 360. I just need you to pay the 170 more before you leave. Because he really wants to help you guys, us. Do you guys, um, do you get food stamps, EBT or anything First like that? First of the month. Because we did our review so late, we're not going to get it till the first of the month. Oh, so you guys will switch the first, the first, first yeah. yeah, correct. Next month, yes. I got the email and everything that got approved. It's just because the review went through after the 15th of the month, which is the halfway point, that we won't get it until the first of the month. So how long The first is our normal. Been... Hey, I'm talking to somebody, but don't take the phone, please. Thank you. How long have you guys been homeless? No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have the phone. I got to move from my son so he doesn't grab the phone. How long have you guys been home? Go ahead. How long have you guys been home? I'm going to get off here for a little bit, guys. 
Hey, Steven, can you hear me? I'm not looking at the chat. I'm listening to you guys. Hey, Steven. I'm the one that looks at the chat. Steven, are you able to hear me? Uh, we don't uh, have to because of the, um, uh, because of the review, uh, was so late in the month, uh, they're, they're making. Steven, are you able to, is anybody able to hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Uh, hey Steven, so, just gonna say this. They muted because, or I don't know. No, my son, I didn't. Son turned down the phone when he tried so to I grab it. Have, I have one question. It's okay. And can if, you, are if you this able is... to hear me now, Steven? Yes, I can hear you now. How long have you guys been homeless? Truth be, we've actually only been homeless since November because when we were homeless back in 2018, I got a job at Taco Bell. Got my tax returns, and then we moved up to Bremerton Inn for three and a half years. Okay. So we and only then, recently became homeless when we moved back here after everything that. We're not blaming it all on everybody else because we made the messed up choice of moving across state and trusting somebody we shouldn't yep. have trusted. Yep. That is our bad. That was our mistake because okay. if we made that choice, we'd be in a whole different situation right now. Yes, we have an answer. But... To be very brutally honest with you, we would be in a whole different situation right now. So you guys are going to start getting, so, so, okay. So in November, Baba, you guys became stop. homeless essentially in November. And then, <clears throat> um, so you applied for benefits. So you're going to start getting benefits February 1st. That's good. And then what about yep. help with housing? Um, beyond the we have housing? gone to KCR, Salvation Army, Bremerton Housing Authority, all of the areas, all the resources out here. And they have literally looked at us and told us, we don't have the funding to help with that right now. All we can do to help you is you get approved for an apartment and then we can pay for the rest of it with whatever you guys have. have you applied That's literally what they've all told us. Have you applied for Section 8? <laughs> Section 8, yes, we have. And it's also a six to eight year waiting list out in our area for Section 8. It's crazy. Because so many people are on the Section 8 waiting list out here. It's ridiculous. Okay, are you the, the, still, are you I'm on sorry, the Washington list? State funding for homeless is freaking ridiculous. They need to fix it. They really okay, need to you, fix it because there, there's a ridiculous amount of homeless people out here. Are you on the waiting list? Yes, we're on all the waiting lists. We're on the Section 8 waiting list. We're on the waiting list for the one and two bedrooms. All of them. Hey, I put Robert, us all on them. Every Robert? Is that Robert? Hi, Robert. How are you? Not the same, Robert. That's oh, okay. Awesome. I was going to be like, I might have to leave because something's going to get bad if that's a Robert I think it is. That's a different Robert, though. Never mind. No, the Robert that he, uh, he's got yeah, the name of that person we're exposing that ha is trafficking a 13-year-old little girl. That's a different issue. Oh, yeah, I know. I've heard about that. I Believe me. I, no, I've seen that. I've seen that on TikTok. No, no. If you've seen it on that? TikTok, hold on. If you've seen it on TikTok, girl. then you know who we are. We don't, we're not just coming. Because, can I ask, answer Jason real quick? Who's Jason? If I didn't pay back from the job, I would have gone to jail. I'd much rather not deal with the cops when I have a family I have to take care of. Brutally honest. It was either pay it back or deal with the cops and go to jail. Why would I go to jail when I have a family to take care of? Take the easier route. Path of less what resistance. happens? Somebody was, I know somebody had said in the chat a couple of days ago before this account was blocked, and I'll keep saying before this account was blocked because I haven't looked to see if I've been unblocked, but they said that there was an open case with CPS. What happened with that? So somebody off of the Reddit page made an anonymous call saying that we gave our son edibles, which we actually haven't had weed for a minute. We just recently got some from our brother Coda and her uncle because I went over to her uncle's house and did work at the around the house. And the CPS came before we left for her grandmother's house. Came on, I want to say Friday last, no, Thursday last week. And they came in and said, somebody said we gave our son edibles. They looked at him, looked at us, looked around the room, have an open case, but they said nothing was actually founded. And then the cop, somebody made a welfare check anonymous yesterday and the cop came and I opened the door for the cop, let the cop in, let him look at my son, talk to the police and everything, said, we've been dealing with this for a minute. And they said, well, we don't see anything wrong at all. Nothing's wrong with him. He ain't got no marks. He's obviously well-fed. Cop even thought my son was three to four years old, not two, because of his size. 
And then they left. That was it. That's what happens every time somebody calls on us. They come, they look at our son, they look at everything, and then they leave. So do Because there's nothing to find. Do they have to keep that open for a period of time, or do they close it? Yes, CPS. So they keep the case open for, I think, last time we talked to CPS, when we had something going on in Michigan, because somebody called, they said that they keep it open for about two or three weeks, and then once the supervisor looks through it and everything, it pretty much gets closed if it's unfounded. And every CPS case we've had against us has been closed because it's unfounded. I have a question. Yes. Why do, you keep, why do you keep getting CPS cases uh, open against you then? Because people, the Reddit page, literally the Reddit page, they, they are so hell bent, uh, me and my wife getting our son taken away. That is literally why the people on the Reddit page keep calling CPS on us. And we've been dealing with that Reddit page for almost three years since we had our son in the motel room because they didn't believe that a motel room was a safe place for a kid. Even though it was better than being on the streets or, you know, in a shelter. I was paying for it with my job and everything. Can I ask you kind of a personal question? This is more of a personal It depends question. on, I'm going to be honest, it depends on the personal question. There's some I, I don't like answering. No, I understand. That's fair. Um, so I know, you, I think you guys said there wasn't room at grandma's house. Is she worried about you guys? Like, Yes, yes, she is you? very much so. Oh, she yes. is very much worried about us all the time. I call her every single day. She says how much she worries about us, how much How much she wishes she could take us into her house, but there just isn't the room. Her her grandma lives there. Her aunt and her uncle live there because her aunt lives there to help grandma because grandma's 93, going to be 94 next month. And there's it's like a three-bedroom, and Aunt Tammy has a room. Uncle Ted has the other room, and grandma has the other room. We literally be sleeping in the living room, and grandma does not want her room, her living room turned into a bedroom again. We did that for six months with them before we moved out of state. Which is why I said we'd be in a different situation if we didn't move out of state. If you guys went back to do you have opportunities if you're if you guys were able to go back to where you were from if, if you had a job and stuff we're there? from washington washington is where we're from i mean you, when you guys said you moved we moved to michigan you, because tiny said she would help us and stuff and i got a job out there and we were trying and then shit hit the fan with tiny and it got blown out of proportion Literally, Tiny told us that we would sit down and talk about stuff like adults, and then shit hit the fan, and she got Dale to kick us out. And then after we left, exactly three days later, Tiny pulled the same shit she was pulling when we were there and left Dale for that piece of crap Fox dude. Who is Tiny? Tiny Fox is the person that Gloria, the person we moved to Michigan originally to help us. I would like to get in touch with Tiny. Good luck with that one. She's not on TikTok anymore because Fox doesn't let her get on TikTok. Fox is a very controlling person, and I don't like him. He is the reason why we went back to Dale's, and Dale took us back. Well, I'm sure we can find a way to get a hold of her. No, 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 no. So, you would want to get a hold of Dale. You'd want to get a hold of Dale because Dale will tell you the truth. Tiny will just lie. No, I want to talk Tiny to is a pathological, habitual liar. She lies wanna, about everything. I want to talk to everybody involved. Everybody. That's fine. But Dale would, Dale would be the easier one. Dale's even been on the Reddit page before, too. Not not talking shit about us or anything like that, but just been on the Reddit page. So I'm reading some information here in the comments. It says when you guys um, were in Michigan, there was, I guess, some clean, cleanliness issues. from Because, we, okay, do you want to know the honest to God truth? We didn't have no dressers or anything. We had a box for our clothes. Literally, Tiny gave us a box for our clothes. And it was a very small room. It was a very small room. There were me, my wife, and our two, almost two. He wasn't quite two yet. He was still one and a half at that time. He was almost two. Almost two-year-old son in that room. And he was at that point where he was going, 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 and getting into everything. And, you know, it's, we tried to keep it clean as best we could. But every time we cleaned it, Colt would mess it up. Guys, please tried to keep it clean. Please tap the screen while we're having these conversations. We get taken down constantly. We're not, and no, I wasn't trying, I, I want to be honest with you. I wasn't trying to get you guys taken down or anything. I was just answering questions in the live. People were asking what the page was, so I was giving them the page. That's all I was doing. I did not tell them to go report it well, or anything. I, I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now because I heard something different, but we're not going to get onto that right now. I, I just, I, I'm a, like I said, I am a brutally honest person. I don't believe in telling lies about anything because lies get you freaking nowhere. Lies get you in nothing but trouble. Well, like I said, we're not going to talk about that right now because I did hear something different. We're not going <laughs> to talk about that. 
Um, I'm just telling people to like the, like the live because it helps us from getting taken down. I know. I know that. It's the algorithm. So, from my understanding, Ow. Um, Angel Dust, yeah. Amy, did, Amy did help with groceries, and I see nothing wrong with helping with groceries. This is a family that needs to eat. And, they have and we did get the groceries, and I did show them show the groceries on the live as Amy requested to me because oh. people were hating on her for it. Hold on. So, so I, I want to say something, Katie. Hold on. I want to say something to that because you guys were attacking us as a group. We all chipped in to get those groceries for your son. When we heard about that, it kind of threw us for a loop. Can I, can I be like, it kind of threw us for a loop for a minute. We're like, wait, these people are hating. Like, we felt like you were hating on us. We really did. No, we are here to help people who need yeah. help. We're not, and, and I Amy, promise you, we're not scammers. We only literally asked for help right now because we did not want to take our son back to that shelter. There are, there's too many freaking weirdos and shit down there. It's just, cre it's not good. And the shelter wanted us to get out of there too. They were trying to help us and shit. The rescue mission, unfortunately, we can't get into there because they're full to the freaking brim. They don't got no room up there for us. If so they just, did, we'd be up there. Yeah, I just want to clarify, and I appreciate you um, clarifying because, yes, we are Angel Dust. We are not here to take things from people. The whole purpose is to find people who need the help, get them the help, and if, if they deny the help or they're only wanting cash or they're only wanting, you know, only wanting stuff to their cash we, up, that's completely different. And that's not the situation that we have right now with Sam. Nope. Let me back that up. I know that they're putting their cash up out there, but we all got together to make sure that this family had things to eat because they yeah, have yeah. to eat. Right, and they have a baby, baby and that baby doesn't have a choice. He's dumping that out of his corn out. Oh, <laughs> you goober, but... Oh my goodness. The shelter isn't better for a two-year-old child, though, with people consistently overdosing on a daily basis down there. I do not want my son around people overdosing. That is um, me making a choice as a father. Okay. So, so I know that there are... Some, I know that there are some people that have questions. If it's okay with Dennis, um... I know there's some people that out, out want to ask questions. If it's okay with Dennis, we'll let you up in a box to ask your question. But once your question is asked, we're going to remove you from the box because we don't want it to be a debate or an argument. I, I really, I, and I want to, I want to apologize. I'm sorry for getting so uppity when I first came in here. I do apologize. See, I, I just, I got blindsided by it, and like, it, we've been dealing with hate for a long time. Okay. So. Well, I will say, hold on one second, Katie. I'm sorry. I will say we are go we're going to continue to look into this, but we're and like we're like I've been telling people for long term plans. I'm getting tax returns. We actually have my brother Coda. We have a plan with him that we're not going to go into detail with people about because we have been asked by him and his fiance not to. But we have a plan when my tax returns come in that is going to get us off of these damn streets permanently. Now, does Sam receive any SSI or SSDI? She gets it at the first of the month, which is why I told people if they helped us with the week, we would come here for a week, have to go back to the shelter. Maybe even grandma might let us come over for three days. We'd have to talk to grandma about that. Yeah. Hey, Marilyn. But, um, and just when she gets your, paid, we're coming back here. Marilyn, in response to your um, comment, <clears throat> in response to your comment, Marilyn, um, things aren't always what they appear. So I would ask you to. Marilyn has also. Marilyn's also been one of the people that's hated on me and my wife for a long time now. Yes. I can't believe that. So, so Marilyn, um, you're clearly new to this page, um, and you've not heard me have con have conversations before with people. So I would invite you to back off, and listen and watch, because things ain't aren't always what they appear. The reason that I'm being given a voice on this page and that I work for this page. So do you think that if I were really drinking the milk that I would be allowed to be having this conversation? You want to give him a yogurt, Mama? Use your brain, sweetheart. Use your brain. <laughs> no, the tax return is what's going to get the long-term plan done. That's the point. My tax return is going to pay for something for us. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Can I just ask a question? Yep, go ahead. You said that you did work with a family friend or something like that, and then they paid you um, in 
herbage, I guess. <laughs> like, how sure. do you yeah, say we'll, that we'll call like... it green. We can call it green. TikTok doesn't block green. Yeah, that's fine. So, how come they wouldn't? How come they didn't pay you like of like a monetary value? Would you like to know why? Because we it was at her grandmother's house. There was okay. food and stuff there, so they weren't gonna pay us in cash. He gave us what what he felt was. It was only like fifteen dollars too. Honestly, he, her uncle. When we don't have anything, he wants to go and get us weed because he smokes weed as well. He I understands that thing. I Hold on, this. this so like he said, problem. "Do the work for me. I'll go get you this." I said, "Okay," because we were at Grandma's house. Colt was fed and everything. We Hold didn't on. need anything at that point. Hold on, you're, Jamie. You're saying that this does this doesn't feel genuine. This feels like a setup. I just said we are going to continue to look into them. If we find things that are shady, you bet one hundred percent. We're gonna be why on there. We'll, we'll be on there. Jamie, like why that. would we? Jamie's one of our we, supporters. I understand, but why would we? If if this was a setup, then why would we put money together to order this family groceries? Why that we did we get that? this morning at about ten o'clock. I want to say it was about right, ten o'clock. So got delivered. They're here, they're here in this conversation, Jamie. They're here in this conversation by choice. We're not trying to set anybody up by asking questions or providing them with food. And as I said on her live earlier, I do have a job interview tomorrow. One, I, a job I've been trying to get for years out here that's going to pay very well. Because my brother's fiance gave me the direct line to her boss so I could get this job. And no, my wife has a developmental disability that does prevent her from working. Her development, her disability is developmental because can I say a little bit, babe, without going too no, much? No, I'll go into it. Sam, Steven, mom, you don't mom. have to. Hold on, hold on. She said we don't have to. Just leave it at no, developmental. No, 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 no. We're not asking. Want we don't want to know. Okay. We don't need to know about your medical conditions or your mental health. That is personal. We are not going to ask Just know it's that. a developmental disability that prevents her from working. It makes it hard for her to work. It does. I've explained it on lives. Jamie, I'm sorry if that's your experience with people. That's not what this group is about. And once again, there you might be used to the way that people talk to each other in a nasty way. That's not how we do things here. To be honest with you, Katie has been very, very nice this whole time, which is why my voice has stayed calm too, because she's been calm while talking to me. I get so uppity she, I get uppity and loud when people get loud around me. That's how I am. I will tell I you, that anybody who's new to this page, you need to follow along and actually see what we do on this page before you make assumptions. See, see the tax return. Let me let me answer Lena or not Lena. Who was it? Uh, the dot person. That was before we talked to my brother about this opportunity that we have set up. I was going to pay for a motel room for a month until we talked to my brother and this came about. Coach, were you able to get the followers yet? No. Like I was saying, Jamie, this might seem like something that's condescending to you. You might be, you might be used to doing chaos and people being hateful towards each other and name calling and screaming. That, that is what we deal with a lot in my wife's life. Like I think it's crazy. My I wife will get like my wife will get on the live and the haters will come in and stuff. And then the minute I'm on the live, the hate just stops. Nobody says anything when I'm on the live, and that's what's so damn crazy to me. Sorry, excuse my my French. I grew up around a marine. I I, I it's hard for me. <laughs> excuse my French. Here. That's just what's crazy to me is they'll hate on my wife daily, but the minute I get on the live, the hate stops. I will be looking into. So I got a folder full of information about this case. I will be looking into it as soon as I keep saying that. But as soon as we're done with the live today. Um, like I said, I will be looking into it. I cannot take you guys at your word. I am listening to you. Oh, you good? You good? Hold on a minute. Oh, did the door get you a little bit? Let me see. Let me see. Where did it get you? Mwah. 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 Did the door get you a little bit? Stacy, yes. Stacy sorry, said, sorry. can we address? That's okay. Stacy said, can we address y'all saying they return the food for money? We don't know. I think that that was... As that was a, that was a random ass troll. That wasn't anybody here. I know that because when Amy asked me to show the food, I showed all the food on the live that we got. 
So one of the things that happens um, in response to that comment, one of the things that happens, Stacy, is that things will be said, and if they're said, if things are said, there's sometimes that we'll discuss the things are said. It doesn't necessarily mean the things that are being discussed in here are what's happening, but if we've heard, we, if we've been told something, if we've heard something, that too is something that we would look into. So if that was said by somebody that's in uh, the room, we're gonna say, hey, this has been said, we need to look into that. But they showed the food, they, this is a different page. You will find a lot of pages who have no intention of actually helping people. They're scam, they're, they're scam busting pages essentially, but they have no actual intention of really helping people. And the whole point is to, is to dog people and make them feel bad about themselves. And there's no actual help. There's no help that's being offered. It's just about humiliation and being cruel. So I, I, would, I would wonder if there's any other page out there that says, hey, we wanna take up a collection for you so we can buy you groceries. Hey, we wanna take up a collection for you to make sure you have some place to stay and give you all the resources. There is not another page on TikTok that will do that. There isn't. And I know a lot of people think, well, that's weird, that's weird. Well, maybe there's a group of people who have enough time and enough um, funds and enough care about other people to make sure that they can get their basic needs met, that doesn't happen anywhere else than here. Yeah, somebody came in alive and told me about this. That's why I came and looked at it because we're not scamming anybody. We're honestly just asking for help until the, till the first of the month, quite literally. I do want to say we we didn't want to go back to the shelter because it is not a place for my son our son to be around at all it is just it's bad it's not a place for a two-year-old child to be I can't okay so I'm gonna say one thing to it so with you being a man um, I lost my job because actually because of somebody I was exposing on this app I don't know why you left but I lost my job because of someone that I was exposing on this app and because I have a family to support I immediately started my own business. So there are things you can do to work. You don't need to be begging for money on the work. And like I said, I do put out job interviews on it or applications on a daily. When do you have okay, as a man, the listen, as a man, I'm not getting that job at Wendy's because some asshole on the Reddit page wanted to call the job and tell them some shit. As a man that has to support your family, if I had to, I personally would go stand at Home Depot and tell people I'll work for money. You should, as a father and a man, that's exactly what you should be doing and not on this app asking for people to support your way. I'm not asking for them to support either. I'm just asking for help. Do you realize that I have stood on a street corner for hours, hours at a time and made $30 in yeah, that dude. three or four hours? But you guys are on this app all day long which are hours you could go walk down to Home Depot, like I like I was saying, because I Home Depot is in Silverdale. Oh, there isn't a Home Depot. I know, I know, I know what you're saying, though. Well, that's what. I, yeah, that's exactly. It doesn't have to be a Home Depot. There are ways uh, you can look for work. There are plenty of things you can do. I'm a father of two. Okay, and if I'm in that situation, I did get put in that situation. I started my own business because I know that I have to support for my family, and I am not, no way in hell, going to ask other people to support my children. So I, think, I wasn't man, asking for support either. That we're just as we were just asking for help. That's all. It wasn't to support my kid or anything. It was for help yeah. because we needed help. Let me just. I literally swallowed my pride. I'm just saying, I swallowed my pride to ask people for help that I don't even know. I didn't want to do it. I told babe, I don't want to go on there and do that. But she's like, we we need help. I'm like, you're right. We do well, need help. Support and help are this support and help are the same thing. I think it it just. It depends on how it's being used. Um, so let me ask you just a question here. So if I were to play, let's, let me play devil's advocate for a second. And of course, I'm still going to speak to you respectfully. Like I said, my I, tone I with love you that turn of phrase though. I do. My, my, my tone with you will never change. So let me play devil's advocate. If, if you're there, I guess my question would be, why not apply to everybody that you can apply to within a walking distance from where you're at? 
Like because I guess the way my mom. I don't to have say to. It, I don't have to walk to put in applications. All the applications okay. around me are all online. I go on Indeed on a daily basis and fill out applications on a daily basis. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you as an employer that it also makes a difference when you show your face. And I don't mean that in a gross way, but when you actually That's show up. That's why I say, went to hey. Wendy's that one night too and told them I have an interview and all that. I do that when, when I actually get the interview, when they, you know, I set up an interview and stuff, I do go in there before my interview and like, you know, show my face and all that and, and meet does, people. he does sit there and call them every day. Yep. I call to see, hear back on an interview or anything. I do all of that. It's just everything's online nowadays. And y'all, so I'm, I'm, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a T-Page, but on my real account, I know Sam and him, and they are not scammers. They are actually, y'all don't know them like I know them, but he's actually definitely a hardworking man, and I'm not on here vouching for nobody. But like I, I said, I, I worked at Jack in the Box for three and a half yeah. years keeping and, us and in they, the motel And they moved, they moved across state to better their lives, and it didn't work out, and he worked the whole time they were there when stuff happened. Like I said, you can laugh all you want, but I know them personally on my real page. <laughs> When, and okay, I'm so, going to vouch for them because I know that they're not okay, on here. I'm going to mute your mic. I'm going to mute your mic. We are wow. leaving these box. The boxes are for asking questions. We understand that they have supporters. We want, we, we're glad that they have supporters. Actually, I did work. I worked boxes. at Burger King and I worked at a, 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 a factory with heat treaty metal. Well, I also want to so say, and Coach, don't, 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 well, yeah, you can comment in there. Um, but like, like she just said, we're here to ask questions and stuff like that. I do want to say that um, I'm seeing people in the chat saying that you guys have been on this app for a year begging for money. No, we haven't been. Actually, this is a the last time we were on here was because Tiny made us do it so we could get the freaking camping places and stuff, which I fucking hated that shit. That shit was just that was so goddamn bad, which is when that shit happened with my son. I didn't kick him at all. I really did it. He he was laying on my lap while I was, he was laying on my lap watching me play the video game while I was playing my game. He does that all the time when I play my games. He will sit on my lap, watch me play my game and all of that. Dude, nope. So with that comment right there, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out right there. Let you me know. finish what I'm saying, please, because oh, no. I have been letting you finish what you're saying. Go for it. He was sitting on my lap and he turned over, bit the inside of my thigh, right up by my crotch. It hurt. Like my son's got sharp teeth, and it was—I—I I, I admit my reaction was not necessarily the greatest, but I did move. I, I did move my leg where his head was rested on my leg where he was biting me, and I was like, "Ow!" and moved his leg as a knee-jerk reaction. Probably wasn't the best reaction because it looks like I kicked my son, but I did not kick him. I merely moved him with my leg because that shit hurt. Okay, mm -hmm. now listen. I, I had a bruise kids. for a good two or three days from that mm -hmm. bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I have two kids. I have two small boys, and you think they haven't hit me with things, bit me. Wait. Hold on, Jackson. Hit me with things. Uh, I wasn't ready for that bite either. It came talking. out of nowhere. Listen, it like literally I'm took me talking. by surprise. I'm still talking. You you did. Everybody's seen the video. You did indeed launch him off of you. You did kick him off you. The video's clear, and we can show the video again. So I, I really, I would not bring that issue up right now because we weren't even talking about that. The video does clearly show you launch that child off of your lap. I'm sorry. The floor I, is yours. I got to unmute him. Well, I, um, do you need me to... Why did the cops do nothing? So, well, it's not, that's not necessarily over with yet. Yet. So there's a lot more going on to that than than what 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 anybody knows. Here's the, just just so you guys are clear. In the I bought the kids groceries yesterday. Sleepy Lisa, why are you talking in the comments like that? If you're gonna make claims and if you're gonna make claims in the comment and you're not gonna respond to me when I ask you to clarify, I am gonna block you. So you're not gonna throw information out here that is an opinion or something that you've heard that you don't have proof of. And if I ask you a question, if you're gonna make a statement like that, I'm going to block you. Can I ask that we not show the video? Cause that video tears me up every fucking time I see it. I'm sorry for cussing. Well, who said something okay. about showing okay. the video? Okay, hold on. First, 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 Katie, we don't, we don't wanna be blocking anyone. 
don't be saying things out of line or misinformation in the comments. Um, with the video, we didn't bring that up. You just did. No. I, was not, I wasn't saying anything about that just now. You did bring it up. And like I said, so we all, we have all seen the video and you did clearly launch the child off your lap. I have two children. They have so bitten me. They have thrown, oh, hold on. I'm still talking. They have bit me. They have thrown things at me. They have hurt me. They, I've had my kid pop me in the mouth with things before. I do not have a reaction to throw him off me. And scream at my wife at the same time. Lots you know, like, and lots of videos of you guys screaming at each other and I not love my watching, wife taking care of the kids, I love kids, my wife man. so goddamn much, but sometimes she can irritate me because she'll be on the live and I'll need help and I don't get the well, help. Well, this anymore. was not on the live, dude. Like she was, no, she was on the live. That's why the video is there because she was live at that point in time. And you, I mean, dude, the, you, we see you guys screaming at each other all the time. We I'm don't question why we're even time. doing this. We watch it. We see it. We got a whole folder on Now we're going back in the... I'm serious. We have... I, 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 I got so much stuff to look at and go through that mm -hmm. it's unbelievable. And you guys have been on this app for longer than November. For sure. Asking for money. No, we haven't been, actually. This is the first time we've asked for money in a long time, actually. I said the last mm -hmm. time we were in Michigan with Tiny and that. Okay, so I just have a, I have a question. Besides, like, begging aside and money and Whoa. this and that, the video of you hitting the child is probably what is the most disturbing thing. And I there's multiple. Kid, I don't hit my kid. So, but... I mean, these videos weren't fabricated. I, I, I smack, I, yeah, I, like any parent, I smack his hand when he does something really bad. Or he gets spanked or put in time out when he does something that's, bad. But we don't beat our not, kid like people are saying. That's not, you know, any parent. Because that's not, you know. That's a lot of parents. Well, here, I just wanted to say one thing, and I'm not going to say anything else. I'm reading the comments and stuff, and everybody's saying stuff. Don't think that we're just sitting in here and taking all this at face value we are going to do the research yep. we have a lot of work to do on this case we have very good contacts in the child protective services field we will keep pushing if we feel there is need to make sure that, that everything no is need, done correctly there's no need for our that's, son to get taken away we're really honestly tired of people calling cps on us when there's no need for it well, that's not up to you. If you guys are doing things that make people call CPS, then that's what's going to happen. You want to live stream your life. Listen to me now. I'm talking now. You want to live stream your life so everybody can see it and not do what you're supposed to be doing. People are going to call CPS, period. But, again, as I've said, CPS, if we still have them, obviously CPS finds nothing to be true. Because if they found anything to be true about anything... They would take him from us. I know not that true. for a fact. Not true. That not is, true. That's in not Washington works, State, brother. that is a fact. Nope, it's not Washington a State is a no, fact on that one because my grandfather hit me when I was 13 years old and I went to school. I've got, I've got the same politics. I'm in California. I grew up. I, I, I had, I'm, again, I'm going to repeat it. I will, not talk about my childhood. I will not talk about my childhood, but I had a bad childhood. Uh, DCS was called on, on my family multiple times. I should have been taken away multiple times. DCS is a joke. The only time I actually got put into the system was when I ran away from home and I didn't have any family to go to. That's the only point that I was actually put into the system. So, no, I've watched multiple occasions. This is not just state-by-state -state basis. This is all over the United States. It DCS, there's, there are children that have been unalived by their parents because DCS has been called so many times and do, didn't do anything about it. So, no, that's not, that. what you're saying is not true. Basically, at this point, if you guys are putting your hands on that child from the videos that we all see, at this point, CPS is failing your child, and at some point, I guess you can say you're lucky, and if you don't stop, that luck is going to run out, and someone is eventually, it, like you said, obviously CPS has been called multiple times. So there's a reason people just don't pick up the phone and call. CPS has never been called on my family, in my house, my kids. I, I, I never grew up and had CPS called on me. Not once at my house. I got a kid that's 15, 
and one that's 12. And through their whole lives, we've never had CPS called. It's and not It's them. not just like everybody just calls CPS on people for no reason, yeah. dude. If you don't want this going on because people are seeing what's going on in live, if you, you're tired of it, stop streaming your life on an app that you, hundreds and hundreds of people see. Like, you're, if you're doing something wrong, you know, people perceive you doing something wrong. That's the problem you're going to have. There's, there's, oh, here's, there's, here's, there's, wait, 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 wait. One at a time. Please. It is a perception and then, but thereby an assumption. If you perceive something, and then you make an assumption out of what you see. And that, that's not a lie. Perceiving, perceiving Perceptions are, are always, everybody's perception of something is different. Perception perception is reality for each person, right? But the other side of that is to avoid any implication of impropriety. That means when you are on the lives and these things happen, there's an implication of impropriety, which means that you're not doing the right thing. So what happens then is that people perceive that to be reality because your, your perception is your reality. So if you don't want people to perceive that you are in a situation where this is happening, then you, you, know what, you know what I'm saying? You don't go on live and let that be seen because it may be seen in a way that you don't want it to be seen. And also, I've seen a lot of comments tonight about Colt needing to go to the doctor and hasn't been to the doctor. That is also a form of abuse. He needs to go to the doctor this if he hasn't been. We yes. are here. Hey, look, we are here to help, dude. We are here to help. Uh, and I'm just saying, we that, want to that see you guys do better. My son, my son parents. has been to the doctor. He's gotten all his shots and everything. He has been to the doctor. And I'm not saying it's and not no, right. I'm be, just seeing that. I'm sorry. I'm not putting my kid in daycare in Washington State because the shit out here is horrible for daycare, and it costs damn That's, near six thousand dollars. And I know that you know you how much daycare probably... costs. Daycare is ridiculous. I didn't ask about daycare. I'm talking oh, about. No, I'm, I'm, I'm answering to somebody in the comments who said we should Amy, put him in daycare. Amy, are you available, Amy? Because yeah. somebody had said that Amy, um, yeah, called the police on you guys or something in your in your That's chat Amy. or in here. It was me. I called for the welfare check. I talked to the officer. I gave him my information. It was not anonymous. Officer Smith the top, was the top team. Like, Listen, like, hey, wait, whoa, whoa. Wake up our son. They came through, looked at my son, saw, I, lifted up his that. shirt, Listen, all of that, Listen. and they left. Now we know. Uh, you've, you've explained that a thousand times. I've heard that already. Listen to what I'm telling you. I called them for a reason. I felt that, that, that there needed to be a welfare check. You guys do not look good on lives. You guys look like you are totally on dope. Okay, that is the reality of this situation. The situation is that's an assumption in and of itself based on how we look. That is an assumption and that's not okay. I will but ask neither you. but a welfare check is not a bad thing. A welfare check I never said it was I never said the okay welfare thing. check no. I never okay. said it was a bad thing, but to but assume that we're drug addicts because of how we look. Amy did that. That's one thing I We never believed it was Amy. We didn't think it was Amy at all. Okay. okay, I want to say something to that fact also. So it was brought up yesterday. I'm sorry, Amy, give me one second. It was brought up yesterday. Somebody said, somebody asked you guys, is that a torch for a mobile stove? You smart, I, you were being made a, a joke. Hold that on. Was a joke. No, no. Yes, it was. I had a smile on my okay, face and everything when I was joking. Was Stop. Okay, you were a smart ass and said, oh, yeah, we can say that's for uh, for a mobile stove. Yeah, yeah, and you looked at Sam and you said, yeah, we can say that's a mobile stove, right? No, that's not a joke, dude. You don't joke about that, especially oh, when yeah. allegations... Hold on, I'm still talking. When allegations, you know allegations are being made against you and you joke about that? No, that's... No, 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 no. Let me know. People, do you disagree? Is that something you should joke about? We've told people time and time again that that's for dabs, for smoking weed. I can make a joke if I want to. You can't... Well, do I can make a joke you are, about you are a really, yeah. really on the I can do whatever I want because of this and that because I'm a 31 year old man and continue to keep expecting welfare checks. You understand and them? keep expecting them to turn around and do nothing because that's exactly what oh, happens every oh, time. Oh, and that's oh. the point I make. Um, I would like to, um, Dennis, if you don't mind, I would like to open the floor to cancel there and Amy and let them ask some questions and stuff. They've they've waited patiently. 
Um, canceled is the one who did the research for us and got us uh, where we found out about the shelter and stuff. She has more information on that, what's going on there. I did hear them say that they were behind the fence. From my understanding, that behind the fence is the shelter. And they left. Yeah, they left. They already left. So, again, I'll say, and anybody that was in the live last night, and again, answers for everything. And I've said this over and over again. This is just a blanket statement for beggars and scammers on this app. They have an answer for everything. He was, I don't think he got bananaed. He left because of the question I asked. Um, he was on the live yesterday. If you did see him yesterday, somebody had brought up, they asked, what's that torch for up there on the fridge? And he said, um, or they asked, is that torch for a camping stove? He laughed and said, yeah, we can say that's for a camping stove. And looked at Sam and said, yeah, we could say that's for a camping stove because she was saying something in the background. So, Jason, would you like to get into a box and um, ask some questions, dude? This guy's been asking a lot of questions. I would like to let yeah, him we can talk. answer any of your questions. I would like to let people talk and ask questions if you don't mind, Dennis. I yeah. just wish they understood that their yelling and screaming hypes that child up to a point that he's going to act out. And, I mean, you can see that he feeds off their emotions, and it's heartbreaking because as they get excited because they're on live, he gets excited and acts out. And it's just so sad. And, Dennis, that hand looks like it's coming out of your neck, and it's freaking me out. It was definitely freaking us <laughs> out. Oh, is that Mama? <laughs> is that Mama Bottoms? I was literally going like this. I was like, how is he doing that right now? Like, I was trying to figure it out. But it's really sad that he's having to react off that emotion because he lives in turmoil. And I did foster care for many years and adopted two children. And they come into a calm home and they're different children. They need that so much. And, you know, we adopted them. We got a boy who blew seven placements at three years old. And we adopted him. And it was just because nobody just gave him peace. And that's what that baby needs. They don't, I, I wish will, they would see that. And I will tell you guys, the guys, especially their supporters, I implore you, please follow our page and follow along with what we do here. We're not just attacking innocent people. We actually like what we're doing here, asking them questions. We are in discovery mode, basically. We are, we are investigating. We're looking into things. Um, we're going to come with facts. I promise you. Look at, I haven't posted any videos about it. I need Which to say, means we will see. Is that my phone? Sit there or and let them. It's mine. <laughs> but look, that's that's we will sit there and let them tell their story that we've all heard a million times. Absolutely, I know it gets old. I've seen a lot of the comments. This is pointless. They're not taking care of their kid. They're doing this instead. I heard the kid screaming. We know what's going on, guys. We understand all that, and we and we totally understand. And we totally know. And we're not just going to take that at face value. I'm telling you, we're going to go find out. We're going to go look at all the information we've been receiving. We have a lot of information that they don't know about so far. And I, like I said, they will continue to get welfare checks until they are doing this the right way, period. Amanda, I've seen that video. It's just really sad that they literally hopped out of a box and went on live already and are saying that we're all stalking them, including Katie, when Katie sat here. It was nothing but nice to them and yep. calm and try to, Katie gets that know, every time. Well, hopefully the people that are in their life can come over here and see us talking because we've all, like, at the beginning of this, I was getting a little, because I do get, everybody up in these boxes knows, I get really fucking pissed when I hear Same. Um, But I was calm enough. I, you guys see me. I was actually asking them questions. Uh, I invited Katie up here because she's a calmer person. By the way, if you guys aren't aware, Katie is part of our group. Katie is the calm to my crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, she's the calm to all of our crazies right now. All, all of us. Yeah, it's I was true. I mean, I've Marilyn. had some moments today, but I was messing with Marilyn with the shushing, and then just carried it on. I, Marilyn, I know that you, <clears throat> you were not fond of my approach, and I get that. But I'm the good cop to Dennis's bad cop. And so while it might seem like I'm falling for what I'm being told, there's a reason that you ask questions the way you ask them. Because when there are 
I'm not going to tell you the psychology behind it. I'm just going to let you know that that is intentional and there's a reason that I speak that way to people and there's a reason that Dennis does what he does and so while it looks like I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, it's actually the opposite and I'm doing something that they don't realize that I'm doing. <laughs> people that were asking why am I not talking, I am not talking, I am here to moderate this and live. She's also not feeling well. I'm also terribly sick. I, um, I would still like to hear from Amy and also um, from uh, Cancelled on the information, okay? On the information that we that we Amy's been talking to the, to the CPS worker, right? Yeah, I've been do we want to talk about that on live or no? We maybe not should not talk about that. I think we should leave that part alone because you know that's kind of sensitive information. But well, what we can do? What, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Amy. <laughs> but you know, you know, they I know that they were bad mouthing me over, it and they were you know they they did say that I was the one that called the police because I immediately called coach and told him what they said, and everybody else heard it as well. But they don't understand where I come from, and I see what I see, and I am a mandated reporter because of the type of work that I do. And I have shown it to other prof professionals that I work with, and they immediately, you know, they saw, they were alarmed at what they saw, too. It's not just, you know, us and our perception. It's what professional people are seeing. And they have gotten very lucky that they haven't had that child taken away from them. Very lucky because I have known people and it does take time to get a child taken away. It's just not a one time thing. Okay. Uh, I want to say, cause I see somebody, somebody just said in here, where was it? Uh, that they're saying we're obsessed with them. So we're going to drop them for a second and let all the new people know about the other person we're exposing on here. Ooh, Mr. Ooh, Robert. Ooh. Yeah. So let me, let, let, let me give you guys an idea of what we do on this app. Okay. So, we're, we're going to go ahead and do an update here. I'm going to put this other screenshot. Uh, Can I just pause you for just a second, though, Dennis? Go ahead. While we're doing this, please, we have 211 people in here, 212. We need the people in the comments to just tap, 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 tap on that screen. Because yeah, even this thousand. guy comes in and has uh, has his minions come into these, these lives and report us and try to get us taken down. Sorry, go ahead, canceled. Sorry. I was just going to say if everybody could do just a thousand likes each, that would be great. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it would help. So, okay, so anyway, you guys see my page. You understand what I do. I'm sure you understand by now after talking about this stuff. You know what we do as a group. So I saw this guy, Robert. He was in Tennessee. He had his cash app in his bio. He's doing the same thing these people are doing, begging for money. I started looking into him. Me and my friend Amy here started offering him resources. Um, looking into local shelters, places that gave him vouchers for hotels, um, trying to pass them on to him. Anyway, so we were trying to help him out. Uh, Amy saw him on live on the 26th of December. I'm going to let her tell you about that part. Go ahead, Amy. Yes, um, on the 26th of December, I was I had observed um, Robert. He was on a live, and he was videoing his what? Well, he had told me was his friend's daughter. And she had received a Walmart, $25 Walmart card for Christmas. So he was letting her spend it. And of course he was dry begging, telling her she had to stay within the budget because, you know, he only had one or $2, that type of thing that he usually does. So they go through, they, you know, they purchased some item, purchased her items that she had chose. They went out to the car and he said they were going to go to the square. The square is where he does his lives and he supposedly sleeps in his car app. So that we get, they get to the square, and so this girl um, proceeds to start asking for money because there's more things that she wanted to buy, and the $25 gift card didn't cover everything she wanted. And keep in mind, it is dark in a vacant parking lot. You could see some lights shining down on the car. And then his cousin comes in, big man, and starts asking the girl to sing for money the red flags are flying everywhere for me considering the line of work that i do i work in foster care and i said robert this is 
inappropriate to have this young lady in the car with you at night in a vacant parking lot. Went, reported it to TikTok. Of course, TikTok didn't do anything about it, but they'll take down a live, you know, or ban us for something or, or banana us for something. And um, immediately got a hold of Dennis, told him what was going on. And he says, absolutely, this is inappropriate. I mean, he he was very upset about it. And within 10 minutes of me telling this, Dennis had this on live, and then everything else just snowballed. So, yeah, she came to me, and she told me about it, and I started a live. And um, I started I started live to get Robert in a live with me, because I'd gone live with Robert before um, to get him to try to help him out with resources and look into him and everything. So um we wound up while we're waiting for him somebody else popped up in the box and they said that they had seen him at walmart at 12 30 the murphy's gas station in sparta tennessee and uh is can somebody let katie in um so they, Just. i got her okay so um so we had the right guy yeah so somebody else popped up in the box and they said they'd seen him there at like 12 30 the girl um what the heck and that that robert had told them that it was his niece so while we're waiting for robert robert finally pops in the box and he says um he starts calling my friend amy here a liar um calling the other guy a liar saying he never was he only yeah he never told them it was anybody else to him it's his step granddaughter he took her to walmart to spend her uh, her christmas gift card um and then he took her straight back home and he didn't take her anywhere else uh hold on one second we're talking about a different situation i don't i'm not sure if the wish fish knows what's going on so um anyway so he's lying about that he's saying that he never took her anywhere and uh i'm saying like i trust my friend amy she has no reason to lie about this situation um like there's there absolutely there's no reason she would lie about it um anyway eventually he did admit to lying to about who the little girl was to him and he said his reasoning for it was that he was afraid that other people would uh think it was weird that he had his step granddaughter out at 10 30 at night dry baking on an app and baking directly on an app to which i told him no it's a lot more weird that you're telling amy that it's your friend's daughter and possibly telling somebody else that it's a uh uh what should we call it oh the people are dropping out because they were um friends of them by the way sam and them um i, I wish they would have stayed, stayed so they could see actually what we're doing on this app Anyway, um, so he finally admitted, and his excuse was that he thought it was weird. It was weird, and I told him um, it's a lot more weird if you're saying it's your friend's daughter or your niece or whatever like that, and you're lying about who it is three times to two different people. Um, so while I was talking with him about that, we, uh, my friend Reyna, that is not currently up here, was able to get a message for a post from Facebook from like 2020 where this Robert guy had said, "Who else gets jealous when they're?" stepdaughter gets a boyfriend a lot of crazy things going on in sparta tennessee right now though um so i seen that message and i'm telling him because he's saying nothing nefarious was going on i'm pointing up i'm like what the hell is that then robert what are you why are you saying nothing nefarious is going on you're posting shit like this on facebook anyway while we're talking about that and he's trying to make his excuses for it uh another member of ours was able to get robert's uh facebook messages between him and his cousin which i'm going to put up here Please screenshot if you don't have them already. Um, I will read them to you. So the blue is Robert. The gray is his cousin. Robert says, hey, bud, you get any extra cash? His cousin, by the way, these people can't spell for shit. They're uneducated. Um, but he says, uh, his cousin says, I might have something if you can bring Siri to meet me. Siri is the 13-year-old girl that is involved in this. Um it's her nickname. Uh, the blue Robert says, yeah, I can tell that spend Christmas card at Walmart. What he's trying to say there, because he can't formulate a sentence is we're going to, I'm going to tell her uh, guardian that I'm going to take her to Walmart so that she can spend her gift card probably around 11 or 12. Okay. Uh, his pig of a cousin then says, okay, how much you need, bub? Uh, Robert then says, any really need cash. I'll let you know when we are there. His cousin then says, okay, uh, then at 1147 at night, uh, Robert says, we are here at the lot. She'll come over when you park. Just give me the money. Um, Steven, his pig of a cousin then says on my way, 
So I want to point out at this point, that's 1147 at night that he said on my way. It, it, now it's at 1230 at night. So it's uh, about a, uh, close to an hour after that last message was sent. So you can tell what happened in between that hour. Uh, Robert, or Robert then says, thanks, bud. Really needed the extra cash. Um, Stephen then says, okay, bub, I'll try to make more for another sesh, as in another session with this 13-year-old little girl. Robert then says, let me know I can find excuses to get her out, or I can find excuses to get her out of the house. It's easier when Lori is asleep, though. That's the end of the conversation. Then, on January 3rd is when we started talking about the situation before we even got the messages. He went to the same cousin that he trafficked this little girl to and said can you help me in tiktok they gang in and dogging me accusing me of stuff about siri and the conversation continues when he talks to his cousin his cousin says yeah bub what person is doing it he then says that carrot top bastard i tell you about he says i'm the carrot top bastard he thinks i'm a redhead look red to you anyway um yeah so that's what we're doing on this app currently we got these messages we involved local law enforcement in the town uh, we involved the TBI, which is the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, because we didn't think that local law enforcement was really doing their job. Um, and they weren't. By the way, guys, I'm here if you're watching. I'm exposing you again. Uh, so TBI is currently involved. It's an ongoing investigation. Uh, CPS is also involved. We do not know if the little girl was taken away or not. They will not disclose that to us because she's a minor. Um... And Robert is still walking free at this moment. Eventually, he'll be locked up, I'm assuming. So, uh, this, let me go back to, this is Robert Siebers. That's the guy that trafficked the little girl. And then... This is the cousin that essayed her and he sold her to. Yes, he does still go live, but he he's super private, and uh, I can't even see when he goes live. But to anyone that was following in that situation, I'm sure they're watching over there. I'm not sure if they dropped off now. This is the kind of shit we do. Wish mod, I will let you up now. This is the kind of shit we do on this side of the app. We do come with receipts. We look into things. We expose people like this. Also, I would like to wish Mish doesn't have enough followers to get in a box, but um, if she would send me her Discord, she can. I can speak to her on that, and we can all do a Discord call with her. We can take it off of live. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If she if she wants to message you, me, uh, coach up here, um, any one of us, we can send her a link to the Discord. So now back to let me put the other message up. Back to this. So after seeing all this, um, I'm sorry. We do come with receipts. We are credible people. Send me. Send me a message. Send uh, or send me your coach a message. You can also send Allie a message. She can invite you to the Discord. Um, just send yeah. Send one of us a message. We'll we'll send you a, 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 a invite to the Discord. Send either any of us a message. We'll invite you to the Discord. We'll send you an invite link. So I also I'm hoping they're still watching. I Andy, would. Why like, are you requesting to get up here? I'm, sorry I'm gonna let him. I'm just gonna let him come up. I would like Sam to come back over here. I'm hoping they watched all that and then talked to us. What's up, Kenzie? Oh, what's up? What's up? I didn't. I, I didn't know that I would actually get on here. So I have no idea what I'm doing. My bad. I was just watching you. You good? So uh, how long have you been? How long have you been watching? For about like for a while now. Okay, so you understand we were just covering a situation where they seem like they're pro they're probably addicts. Uh, we have seen abuse, and we are covering we're looking into that. And I'm guessing you also just heard the whole recap about the Robert thing, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what is your opinion? <laughs> um.
Oh, wait. Hello? Yep. You muted again. Jinx, by the way. <laughs> oh, Kenzie, you're muted. Do you know how to turn your microphone on? Oh, oh. she got... Ollie, do check out that group because I also want to start spreading this on Facebook. Hurry up, Alicia, hurry up. 420. I'll let you up, but if you get like out of line, I've got to bump you out of the box. How Did you doing, you? Alicia? Good to see you. She's not up here. She's on my screen. Oh, she's not on mine. Oh, yeah, it's showing she's in a box. What's up? There we go. Hey, Alicia. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, I've been watching them for a while and they just ask for money all the time yeah yeah they're they're beggars and scammers just like a 90 percent of this app this it's ridiculous on this app this app has turned into a panhandling app period but when kids are involved is when we get involved really yeah we get, we get involved with other beggars and scammers but our priority is uh when children are involved yep uh yeah, who's and like you can tell that they get high yeah anybody that's been around addicts i want to say it oh. again everybody's like where's the proof where's the proof where's the proof if you've ever been around the addict and you've watched their lives you know that they're lit yeah you can tell <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's pretty obvious to all of us but you know we we are the type of folks that want to let them come up here and say their piece and we let katie do what katie does and she's very good at it and she's calming and she makes me feel better about things too all the time so. <laughs> and she also loves the chiefs but you guys do what you do and <laughs> yeah and we just hope that uh they understand that we're we they are doing damage control now <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, they, and we're not we're not really interested in what they're saying over there. To be honest, I'm not. I'm not. I don't really want to go over there and watch them or nothing. I just now I have the information I need, so we're gonna do what we do. Yeah, That's I'm, I'm telling you, they, they get maybe they just want to come clean and um, say the piece because I'm telling you right now, we are the people. We are the wrong people. They want to get involved with because we will mm -hmm. come with facts. We will dig in, and I swear to God, if they're innocent, by all means, it doesn't seem like it. Um, we're going to look into it. I will look at that folder, Rachel G. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go jump over and just do a little bit of a watch, and I'll be yeah. back. Okay. okay. All right, see you, Katie. Have a good day. All right, thank you for coming in, Alicia. Thank you for the support. Yeah. Anybody else want to come up? Just Now it's just us. <laughs> well, that's fine, too. I that's mean, we, just, we can talk all day. I am getting in touch with that person right now. Okay. I, I am a little upset because I did see a lot a lot of people fall off, and I'm assuming there was a lot of people that were following them, and we did see a lot of people in here sticking up for them. I'm a little upset that they didn't, they didn't sit to listen and see what we're actually doing on the app. And what well, we they don't care. It's annoying. It's, it's a lot of people that are probably doing the same type of things, man. Right. Melissa, you want to come up? Oh, no, you can't. You know, I'm the Rachel. Yeah, Rachel time. Oh, yeah. Kim, I'm not saying everybody did, but a lot of them did. A lot of them fell off, and I wish they would have actually, like, looked at what we do here because we're not just coming with uh, accusations, and we're not. Yeah, fighting. Destiny, thank you. Yeah, Shannon, we there's a good chance that we've probably heard of almost all of them that you can name. People skeptical about them. Yeah. Somebody named We We W or whatever it says Mike he keeps getting overrun. She said she has a folder full of proof. Yeah, so I got another video. one sent yep, I got another one emailed to me that I gotta look at. Um I do we 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 if you can send us a uh message so we can invite you to the Discord. Mariah, you're still here. Yeah, just like I said, not everybody fell off, and I'm glad you guys stuck around to actually see what we do here. Um, I'm just upset that a lot of people didn't, because like you, you really need to see we're legitimate. We're we're not here for clout. We're not here for clout. We're not here to try to make money or anything like that. We are genuinely concerned for these children, 
and we're gonna do everything we can to protect them. Um, cancel. What are you saying about mod from? Are you part of? Oh, are you part of Reddit? No, there was someone else that said they were. Oh yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm already handling it. Okay, perfect. Boom. Go, go so, cancel. Could you? Are we done with the Robert update? Uh, yeah, we're done. We're okay, cancel. Could you go over what you found out today, please, on um, the hotel and stuff? Yes. Yeah, so basically, I was working this morning. I decided just to call the hotel. And my first thought was I wanted to verify, number one, that they only take cash. And number two, that um, how much it cost, because I didn't know if they were inflating the price. From 7 o'clock until about first of the afternoon, it was busy. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go online and look at it. And I just tried to make a reservation to see. They're literally showing sold out for a whole year. So I said, something's off. So I called Choice Corporate, um, talked to them, and they said that the hotel is not taking reservations because it's being temporarily used as a shelter by the city of where they're at. Um, so that's where we got the shelter information. Then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make sure that we have proof. So I contacted many people within the government, many community resources, um, I have emailed the mayor and the chief of police um, to get their feedback on this. And then right before our first live, I spoke to someone from Community Resources. And they did say that that is currently a shelter. And when they are reached out to, they refer them to this hotel. And that's where they, uh, they shelter the people that need help. So that, again, that's theft by deception. Exactly. Okay, um, thank you for that update. Uh, Sarah, and I have not got anything oh. back from the mayor or chief of police. However, when I do, I will let you know. And I did share those emails in Discord just so you could see kind of what I said. Um, and hopefully they'll get back to me tomorrow. And if not, I'll continue calling and finding out. For sure. For sure. Okay. And thank two you for two your things help. real quick. First of all, I think we have one of Amy's. Is this true? Yes, it's true. We have a, one of her sons in the chat, dude. How are you, sir? Your mom is amazing. Yes, dude. Let she let is see, literally see, see, the best. It's a, it's a Thompson. Dude, get him in a box. What are we, we doing? We need to get him some more followers. Uh -huh. All right. I'm following him right now. Oh, dude, you got to uh, make your account not private. Who is his private? Yeah. And then Sarah is in a box. Sarah, how are you? I'm doing good. Sorry, I'm a little sick, but oh, um, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> no, I've been watching them for a while. I honestly, um, I've been watching them since South Haven when they was at Tiny's house, and they was on the live before begging for like campfire stuff and stuff like that. And I know when they left Tiny's house, I wish somebody could get in con contact with Tiny. I know I used to watch her all the time in my life, too, and I'm against this because I'm honestly, I'm a foster mom of my niece who took her in when she was first born because she was, my sister did some bad things when she was born, but they yell at that kid all the time. But going back to the fact of Tiny's house, I heard Tiny say that um, one of them punched Colt in the chest, so I don't know if that's true or not. But maybe you guys can look I wanna, into I it. I want to. Yep, I want to talk to those people. Absolutely. Um, Sarah, so yeah. Question while you're and, here. Do you and know? And Mama Llama is a good one too. They've been talking about Mama Llama a lot too. Sarah, do you know if there was an incident with an unalived child in that home? I heard about that, but I'm not. I don't know any details about okay. that one. I heard about Tiny, but, like, I don't really get on TikTok a lot or get into drama a lot. I'm a more stay out of the business, but they constantly, when they're on live, yell at the baby. Right. Or he yells at her for getting to the baby or something like that. I'm, I'm sorry, I have a three-year-old that is my foster niece well she's my adoption uh she is i adopted her like a year ago though 
Uh, so I'm against that of yelling at a kid. I try to put them in timeout or something like that. I don't know your guys' way of, you know, doing punishment, but I try not to yell at them. And then when they calm down or something, I tell them, hey, that's not the way to do things. That's not the way to do this or that. But I, I haven't seen the video of him throwing the baby out or throwing the baby off of him, but I heard him constantly yelling at the baby. And I don't know if it's true about what happened at Tiny, and they talk about a lot about Mama Llama, which is the place that they just came from a couple months ago, and now they're at the shelter or wherever they're at now. Okay, so I want to say something real quick, because I've seen two people in the comments say for, ask for clarification on things uh and i can answer both with mommy mandy mama mandy's uh comment no we're not just taking things we hear from other people we actually look into things so the hotel thing right now we did look into that that's verified it is a shelter they're staying at so they are not paying to be there um they keep claiming that they're on another half of the thing but if you call that hotel and you get a hold of them you call uh the state they all tell you that hotel is being used as a shelter. So that's no, that's stuff we look into. And I don't know if you've been sitting around and actually looked at what we do, like the other case, you, you're not paying attention. We do not just come here and make accusations. We do look into what we're talking about. Like, just like I'm saying, those two people, the tiny person and the other person they were talking about, I want to speak to both of them. One of them was like, don't talk to Tony. She's lying. I want to speak to both of them. I'm not leaving anybody out. I want to talk to everybody involved. We do not just go spreading informa misinformation on this app. We do, you need to look into who we are. That's all I had to say. Maybe I can talk to Tom. Um, I don't know Mama Llama's handle, but I do still kind of follow, follow Tiny. So I can see you guys one time if she will. But I don't know the whole situation there either. Okay. Well, we definitely appreciate your comments and your time. And um, follow us and keep watching. And uh, we will have updates at some point. Because I know when he that? was. I know when he was in here, he was really, like, I'm not trying to stick up for anybody. But um, I think her name was Karen or the one that Katie. was talking. Katie was talking to him really peaceful and stuff he was really interrupting her and that i didn't really like that either yeah he does that it's okay but you guys have a good night i'm um, hopefully you, i can get over this sickness i hope you can too <laughs> i hope you can too <laughs> but okay bye no. hey uh hey dennis yep my son just walked into my room and said dad my fingers hurt can i stop now <laughs> Don't stop talking. Talking. I said yeah. I, just I said yeah, a hundred thousand, bro. You're good. Hey, tell him, tell him, hey, tell him I appreciate him. Yeah, I just went over knows. and did a screen recording. Um, they had people come up in a box, and that Jamie was like, she was so condescending. You know that that was just to manipulate you. I know that little oh, girl. Know. She is trying oh, to start we shit. Know. So I, I screen recorded it. That was my first screen recording. So hopefully I did it correctly. Wait, who, who did this? Who, who went over that there? Jamie, her name's Jamie. She was in here. She's one of their mods. She literally said something to me about muting someone for five minutes because they just kept saying the same stuff over and over again in the chat. Yeah. And she said, I said, dude, you don't do nothing all day but block people. And you're going to hey, tell me about muting someone? Can we, because I have a feeling about these people that are like diehard supporters of these kind of people. Can we also look into... Um, some of these, the people that were just nonstop, like reporting us and like just hardcore. What was her up. name? Lizzie? Lizzie? There was a Lacey. Um, Sleepy, was... Sleepy Lizzie, Sleepy, I forgot her name. Thank you for, yeah, thank you, Bliss. Like, yeah, yeah, how do I, I can get you the, um, how do I get you the screen recording from what I just took? Uh, you might, I might have to add you on Facebook. I, you would have to get Nitro to send it on, um, Discord. You can either do ni get Nitro on Discord or you can, uh, send it to me on Facebook. You yes. Can, you know, I've seen me. that comment. Yes. Jennifer G is a very big supporter of them. And every time she comes over here and says little things like, 
They won't let them be in the same room if they're not married. We know that they can be in the same room if they have a kid together. It's yep. not. We're not dumb. We know that. We see her. Hey, Jennifer, you're trying to I get the truth. I reply to that. I, Jennifer, if you're trying to get the truth, when then when you go over into their live and you're openly supporting and telling other people that they're lying, you're not trying to get the truth. If you're trying to get the truth, you'd be listening instead of involving yourself. Yes. I'm not sure she's still in here, but when she comes back in and comments something weird again, we'll tell her. And Kate, um, I can walk you through the Send Anywhere app that I use to send stuff to Dennis as well, if need be. So Jennifer, what I'm, Jennifer, what I'm saying is, and oh, I, there she I is. Think, so when you're, I know you're over here listening, but when we've seen you in the other lives, because. I'm sure you understand that people have different screen names and they'll go in and they'll listen to and watch what's happening over there. And what I've seen from you is that you are defending them, but you're over here saying you want to know the truth. So if you're, def if you're over there defending them and you're not just sitting back and listening to both sides, if you're involving yourself and trying to support what they're doing, then you're not trying to find no, you're out playing, the truth. You're, yeah, you're playing one you're side. You're playing both sides. Yeah. Actually, actually, guys, I seen Jennifer uh, comment earlier in their live and say, I wish somebody would because I am not in the mood today. You said, I wish somebody would message me because I'd like to take off. Yes, I saw that. Built up. Yeah, she had some built up anger or something. Yep, I saw that comment. Personally. Uh, I can take screenshots on my own. Busted. It's not busted. We just we just want her to know that we we want to find the truth. We are not. If y'all want to know the truth, I'm unfriending. Jennifer, we're not telling you to do that at to all. Do that. You're welcome to maintain following them. I did see that, Stacy. What did you say? So Man, I'll just went over to live. But I ain't reporting anything. Yeah, I just went over to the live and Steven said Sam's aunt is a mandated reporter. Okay, what's her, do we have her name? Jennifer G, you're saying you don't like liars, so I, I do want to clarify something. Are you calling us liars? No, she's talking about them, actually, right now. Give me a second, I gotta mute because I gotta cool my phone off. Jennifer, is tonight the first night that you've been in this room to hear the information? We need to get the ants. When this this girl wish bish, which I can't stand saying that. But. I already have. I have everything set up. We just need to get off live. So, uh, yeah, yes, first time ever. We welcome you, Engine. For hey, Katie, do we have the ants' name? Um, I don't think we do. We need to get that. I don't that. at least. That's probably something good for Amy that she can send to uh, our friend Teresa. Allie says she has it. Okay. Yeah, I have it. Can you get that to Amy for the report for the CPS file? Well, just send it to me and I can send it to her tonight. She responds to the night because she works night shift. At the yeah. And so she usually responds within an hour after I send it to her. Okay. All right. That'll work. Okay. Jennifer, that's up to you. Again, I, Katie said it best. That is completely up to you. We welcome you in and, and welcome your support. And we, we love to have you. And you're welcome to stay following them and do whatever you're doing. But just know that if you're over there saying um, stuff about like the are liars or something or anything like that, it's not gonna it's not gonna work out. That's all I gotta say about it. But we we appreciate you. Yeah, that's kind of where we're concerned. That that my concern. I don't care really what they're doing. The kid is the, the kid is my only concern. And but I mean we also want to have people who um they trust, right? I mean don't am I saying that right, Katie? We want Yeah. They and also when I was over there in the live, um people were talking about Amy and saying that the re the only reason that um Amy got them groceries is try to gain access to where they were. And again, no, they have a baby. The baby has needs. 
We're, we're going to feed we that baby. A group. We are not a group of people who are just trying to, like I said, probably 45 minutes ago, you'll see a lot of anti-scammer pages, but you will not see an anti-scammer page where people are not only helping with resources, but paying for groceries and basic needs for people. The other scammer pages like to try and expose people for the drama of it, but not to genuinely help. So there's a big difference. Yeah, Arkansas girl, they she says they think y'all have nothing on them and making fun of it. That's that's completely fine too. We don't I'm telling you, you're not gonna see us over there watching their lives all you know, we, we watch whenever we need to and see what's going on. Um we totally understand that they're that they're gonna try to deflect and I mean that's what all people do. So that is a normal reaction to if anybody gets called out ever, they're gonna they're gonna immediately start attacking the person that's calling them out. That's what they do. So we're not. That's fine. Brandy had a comment. She was wanting there are people to get a job because he doesn't have any ID. And one of the things you have so much paperwork now that you have to fill out. He's not gonna get yeah, anywhere Virginia. without any ID. I didn't realize he didn't have an ID. No, he, they have no IDs. Hey, no, no, uh, no attacking people in the comments, please. Or no, no telling people about themselves or none of that, please. Also, I know that there are people who, um, Facts. are not trying to help them and so it's been said that people were calling his job from stuff from reddit or where he was applying when they found out and never even heard where he got a job at well he was trying to get a job at wendy's but if he's applying for places part of what we're doing is help trying to help them with resources and finding jobs and if people are calling where he is interviewing or where he is trying to apply and preventing him from getting a job, you're part of the problem. We're not trying yeah. to hurt these people. Yeah, we so, don't want that. Savannah, you don't need a spy. You can just come on in and talk and say hello. You don't have to spy in the comments or spy and watch us. Dennis, you're, you're muted, on. Dennis. By, top. Yeah, by any means, I, I, you're more than welcome to come over here. I want you guys to watch us to know that we're credible and serious about what we do. Yeah, I mean, Savannah, you don't need to um, spy. You can certainly talk to us. and Yeah, you can comment and everything. It, it, not a problem. I don't care <laughs> it's, it's you're, not, you're not on some uh, mission right now, I promise. I do recommend we get off live right now because this person does have to go to bed. Which um, person? Someone that is moderator for them. Oh, is she ready to do a Discord call? Yes, yeah, so I already have everything set. Dennis, I can go do that if you want to stay alive. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and do that, that's fine. Allie, Allie, record? Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm the one doing it, so I'm just going to add you in there, Coach. Record it so you know what's no, no. going on. I'll stay in here. Add me in, Allie. Huh? Yeah, Katie, come too, please. And, and, that would be good. Well. Yeah, okay. So, Katie, Coach, and me? Yep. Okay, all right. Bye, guys. Bye. See you guys in a minute. Uh, Raina, you want to come in? Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down in my file, too, as we're doing it. Okay, go ahead and head over to Discord. Amy, do not talk Dennis's ear off while we're going. <laughs> <laughs> And get your son in here. We would love to chat with him. I'm trying. Well, he's getting enough followers. There's Mom of Two. How are you, Mom of Two? I'm leaving, but have fun, guys. We'll be right if back. You guys, if you guys want a invite to the Discord, it's completely open. Send me a message. I will send you a uh, invite. <laughs> Canceled is back in here. Canceled, thank you so much for that. You know, going above and beyond and finding that stuff out. I mean, of course, 
when I talked to Coach today, he was beyond upset with finding oh, out yeah. that they've been on here and people been give, and everybody been handing them money left and right. Exactly. I think we all were. Right. This should be easy enough. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh gosh, we have a block in our way. Here we go. Continue building up. You're not getting this last game. What the heck? I just seen a comment saying Sam also let the baby hit a vape. I seen that video too. Wait, where's the video? Um, I'm not sure where somebody sent it to me or somebody it's on Reddit. And I think what happened is she left the vape laying around, just not being, just not paying attention. And he picked it up and smoked it. And then she just yelled at him for doing it. But I also feel like the only reason she yelled at him was because she was on live and people seen it. Oh, absolutely. She probably thought it was cute if she wasn't on live. Yep. How do we know that CPS has gotten involved? Um, I have, I've, already, I've talked to the lady, Therese, well, talked to the lady, I will say, and um, she, every, usually every night, I have something new to send to her, and so I, she can't say very much to me. Again, you know, it's all very quiet. It has to be but it's being worked on and she's very happy to receive all the videos and everything that we've sent her and all the you know um we i actually got the uh police i guess the not the code but the report number last night coach got that to me and she was asking about that very happy to get you know an address and other information that was sent over there to them Okay. Sorry, I to yeah. reply to that and I want she to sure replies to me every time I send something. This worker, she replies within an hour, and she even I even called last night, and they are pretty good. And I talked to somebody that um, I had. It was a different person, and she said, "Well, she works tonight. Do you mind if I have her call you?" And within an hour, and it was like one o'clock in the morning, she gave me a call, and I was telling her about the information, and she was she was. She said, she said, you guys are good. So I want to, I want to say to, uh, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure this person got my sarcasm in my comment. John, eight, four, six, four, eight, three, seven, four, seven, eight. Uh, no shit. Really? Really? CPS won't take a child for grabbing a vape. I didn't know that. I wasn't aware of that because that's the sole reason we called them. <laughs> Did someone in the group call his hopeful employer? Oh, no, I don't think so. Interestingly enough, I don't, I, I don't think anybody did either from this group. But what I do know is that if you read some of the Reddit comments, it specifically says like somebody's calling them out saying, you told us you applied at Wendy's. I really think a lot of that came from the people on the Reddit page because I just don't see that happening with this group. Let's go this way. Name in this video made you cry. Where's your name? Are you? Don't make me turn into a wolf again and destroy you. Don't do that. That hurt. You bit me in the butt. Yep, that is. I'll bite you again in the butt. You gotta Definitely not from here. Uh, hey, Sleepy Leezy. Why'd you bail, dude? Why didn't you pay attention to the other story we're covering? Did they end their live? Is that why you're over here now? I love how they go over here. We tried having a civil conversation with them, and they go over there and start basically slandering us when we weren't even talking about them for a while. <laughs> Hilarious. What's up, Coach? The, I think I can go ahead and say it. That Lizzie's just a just a pot stirrer. She just likes to mess with. She's bored. Apparently, they're doing exactly what they weren't doing because somebody just said it. They're sending their supporters here, so they're doing exactly what they what they said. Uh, they whatever, send them on over. We appreciate the support. Definitely think, gets more people in here. Yeah. Uh, we we really appreciate the support and well, stuff. Whatever. We don't have anything to hide. I'm gonna mute though while you guys are talking. Um, that's going on over there, Dennis. That's. None of our, uh, we're not going to talk about it on here at all. So, want a shit show expose llama? What? Nah, we we don't we don't just chase around people to expose. They they kind of just 
fall on our laps, really. And this isn't even about exposing. This is about protecting that child. That's it. I think what that's what everybody forgets. Mm -hmm. This is they're adults. If they want to do crazy stuff, but they're endangering a child, mm -hmm. that's our problem. We all have to be responsible for that child. And last night we bought those groceries. It wasn't about them. It was about that little boy having, you know, some healthy snacks and things like that. He's a toddler. They need things like that. And no, it wasn't about them at all. We, you know, Coach and I talked, you know, and we, that was, we were upset, hoping that, you know, the snacks and the, and the food was given to him because that's what we wanted. That is correct. Gavin, there you go. Most, Sit down, guys. It's no work. kid deserves to go hungry. No, and the kid doesn't, um, he's two, guys. He's two years old, so... Mm -hmm. When you guys are um, when you guys are, are over here and defending them and stuff and thank hey guys, you want to go back to my two my original account because uh, my appeal was approved mm -hmm. an hour ago. <laughs> I would I love to. Because I wasn't doing anything wrong. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Uh, hold on. To. Before we do, I need to make sure everybody that's in here that's new is aware. Uh, so just look for Scambusters Inc. Uh, the original account. We're going to switch over there. I will put it in the comments. Okay. Uh, what is your, yeah. what's the, yeah, I'll see you over there. Yep, I'll see you over there. Yep. I'll see you over there. At scam busters Inc one. So that's the account right there. Um, if you guys want to catch me over there, we're going to go on the original. They got us banana earlier and I got it back. So I will see you guys there. Uh, make sure did everybody get it? No, not 2.0. This is 2.0. <laughs> You guys also please do me a favor and follow the 3.0 account. There's a Scambusters 3 Scambusters Inc 3.0. Please look for that and follow it. I'm trying to build that up as another backup because as you can see, I get taken down constantly. Um but yeah, catch me. I'm going to end it now. Uh just catch me on my the original. Yep, 1, 2 and 3. Catch me on the original. I'll see you over there. Okay. I'm struggling. What is the first one? Just Scambusters Inc. Look it up. Scambusters Inc. You'll see it.